Mark. That was your two-minute time check, stations. Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in one minute from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That was your one minute time check, stations. On the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield, Hawkeye Basketball is on the air. Oh! Hawkeye Basketball is brought to you by Authentic Brand, the premium label of choice. High V, score big savings with a new High V Perks membership. Honda, to see how Honda crushes the competition, see your central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge, just minutes south of Iowa City. United Healthcare, committed to helping people live healthier lives. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes, built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Wimmer's Meats, the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. And by Alliant Energy, powering a clean energy future. Welcome to the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Delivering opportunities and results for Iowa's 40,000 soybean farmers. Halfway through the Big Ten season, and every club in the league is looking to put another piece to the puzzle uh, in place as postseason is just a little over a month away, and everybody's fighting for uh, one of a few berths uh, remaining uh, in postseason other than the automatic qualifiers. Tonight, it's Indiana and Iowa. The eyes have it as they try to improve on 12 victory seasons to this date. Good evening, everybody. We're at Assembly Hall in Bloomington, Indiana. The Hawkeyes and the Hoosiers renew their long-standing competition that reaches 189 games with tip-off in about an hour. I'm Gary Dolphin alongside former Hawkeye great and NBA world champion Bobby Hansen. We're going to switch things up a little bit. Yasir Roseman uh, from the Indiana coaching staff has joined us. Uh, Coach, thanks for uh, coming up here and spending a couple minutes with us. Uh, it's that time of the year. We're about ready to turn the calendar on uh, February, and I know uh, uh, the uh, the fine print doesn't change, does it? you got to get the as many victories as you can. Yeah, we do. I mean, I think everybody in the Big Ten is fighting, like you said earlier. We all fighting to try to get victories and try to see if we can, you know, get a good seed in the Big Ten tournament and see if we can make it to the dance. Uh, tell us about your uh, half court defense. It's been very effective, uh, and you'll, I no doubt, use it in trying to slow Iowa down tonight. No doubt. I mean, we've been, you know, we've been good over the last couple of years de defensively, and um, you know, we try to, you know, stop stop what the other team is doing. Obviously, you know, I, um, Iowa is a team that gets up and down. They they play at a fast pace. They score it well. So we got to make sure we get back in transition, you know, and try to get to their shooters, especially Sanford. 
Yeah, yeah. Coach, the thing that I noticed in the Illinois game, I mean, you went through murderers row there, Purdue and Wisconsin and Illinois here, but uh, you know, you couldn't make it a, a three-pointer. I mean, I don't know. That's got to drive Coach Woodson nuts. Well, you know, it does. You know, Coach Woodson, you know, is an NBA guy, yeah. so we need. He was a guy that scored and shot. So, you know, hopefully we can. You know, we're back home. You get a little home cooking, and we can make some threes tonight. Here, Roseman off the uh, Indiana staff with Coach Woodson uh, joining us here on the Hawkeye pregame show brought to you by the Iowa Soybean Association. How about the Iowa 1-2-2? That's been effective uh, for Fran McCaffrey over the years. Hey, it's been effective the last two years. They do a really good job, and you know, trying to slow you down. Sometimes they'll surprise you with a trap. You know, Fran does a good job of getting, you know, he does a really, really good job of getting everything out of his team. Whatever his team may look like, you may come in and think his team is not very good, but he always finds a way to get some victories, and he's, and he's been in the tournament a lot. I, coach, I respect Fran a lot. And Coach, the one guy that uh, everybody's looking to see if they're going to be playing, and it looks like he is Khalil Ware. What difference does he make for this Indiana team? Well, he makes a big difference. You know, some people think Khalil is, you know, a first-round draft pick, and obviously he's our second leading scorer. Um, he does a lot of, you know, he helps us protect the rim. He's a great rebounder, and, you know, he can step out and shoot the three, you know, a little bit. So, we need him back desperately. Renew and Mbappe are scoring a lot of points for you too. Looks like they're maturing right on schedule. Yes, they are. I mean, Malik is having a great year this year, and you know, McKenzie. Uh, in the beginning of the year, you know, he struggled like most freshmen do. You know, even coming in with those accolades, a lot of times those freshmen still struggle. So, you know, it takes him a while, and and obviously it's, it's been good for us because in Big Ten play, he's been really good. Usually, you know, that's when they struggle in January. He he had his struggles early on, you know, in the preseason, and now I think he's coming into his own. Coach, we appreciate you coming up for a Absolutely. couple of minutes. Thank Thanks you so much. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, we'll see you, you now up in Chicago Minneapolis. <laughs> Chicago Bulls. There you, go. you remember Bobby Hanson? <laughs> good man. Chicago. Chicago Bulls. He just pointed at Bobby. Thanks, Charlie. <laughs> He's still chirping about the Bulls. Yeah, we love it. Oh, man. Good yes, man. indeed. Well, uh, uh, he's a terrific young guy. He came here from the University of Oregon uh, and uh, played there. And uh, we appreciate his time uh, coming out of the locker room to join us for a couple minutes. Uh, Bobby, uh, both these teams sit here at 12 and 8, 4 and 5 in the Big Ten. Uh, in the Big Ten, this is a a 14-team free for all as it reaches the halfway point of the season tonight at the Simon uh, uh, Shots Assembly Hall in Bloomington. Uh, Iowa might have a little more momentum, and that's always welcome on the road. The Hawks with a big second half defeated Michigan in Ann Arbor Saturday by 10. Peyton Sanford, uh, six three-point goals, 26 points. And Tony Perkins continued his sterling play with 24 points, five assists, three steals. Man, what a delight it is to watch those two guys hitting on the same cylinder. Your guard court right there, Gary. That's where you win basketball games. you got to rebound the ball, and you got to have big guys blocking shots in there. But in college basketball, you've got to have good guards. And Peyton Sanford, I consider you know a two-guard, a, a three-man. But uh, the way he lit it up there in the second half against Michigan was good to see because he was struggling a little bit in practice before but he never lost his confidence and as a shooter you can never uh, lose your confidence you got to assume that that next shot is going down and nobody's playing better in the Big Ten than Tony Perkins right now he is just a warrior he attacks at all all times defensively he's one of the league leaders in steals he sets the tone uh, for this Hawkeye team and he really has become a leader here in this last month Indiana gave uh, 10th ranked Illinois all it could handle in Champaign before faltering down the stretch and losing 70-62 they probably led for three quarters of that game. It was, uh, to your point, Indiana's third straight uh, ranked opponent. The sophomore forward Malik Renu threw in 21 points, grabbed seven rebounds. Freshman Mackenzie Mbako became the first Hoosier to post a double double on the road. He had 12 and 12. And then sixth year guard Xavier Johnson added 14 points. We saw him when he came to town at Carver uh, with Pittsburgh. A yeah. long time ago. Uh, they just keep rolling the five stars in through here, don't they? Well, they're, they're trying here. They don't, they're not a deep basketball team, and their guards don't shoot it very well. They are. The strength of the Indiana Hoosiers is the inside game. The guys you just mentioned, Malik Renew, has gotten better here in his sophomore year. He's capable of a double-double of 20 and 10 on any night. And then you've got the, the, the freshman, Mackenzie Mbako, who's really learning how to play the game and had a, had a really good game down at Illinois. Coach Woodson was real pleased with him. And then tonight they're going to get this big guy, Khalil Wareback, a seven-footer uh, transferred in from Oregon. He can do it all. He can step out and shoot threes. He can block shots in there. You're going to have to run these guys, though. That's where I don't think they can keep up with the Hawkeyes if you get your running game going. 
Should be quite a matchup with uh, Ware back in the lineup. And, of course, Owen, Fresh, uh, Owen uh, Freeman picking up his... Uh, seventh Big Ten Freshman of the Week honor uh, uh, yesterday on, on Monday. More on that as we progress through our Iowa Soybean Association pregame show live from the Assembly Hall in Bloomington, Indiana. Uh, thanks so much for joining us here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. Coming up next, we'll take a trip down memory lane with the Hawkeye historical winning moment presented by Riverside Casino and Golf. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. To anyone passing through our state, Fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash fanofcorn. With the Hawkeyes, every pass, shot, layup, and score is more than just part of the game. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow grease, and can-do attitude it takes to win. In the same way, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Get a slam dunk by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes to learn more. Go Hawks! Right now, you are not in the crowded Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. You're not cheering a Hawkeye steal, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The Countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bose, pediatric neurologist with University of Iowa Healthcare. Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. Learn more at uihc.org. The big game, family, friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at hy V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the hy V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the hy V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop. And count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for hy V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Welcome to the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show, delivering opportunities and results for Iowa's 40,000 soybean farmers. The Hawkeyes swept the two-game series against Indiana a year ago, but of course this is a new night and another sold-out building. Iowa, Indiana, we're sponsored by the Iowa Soybean Association. Uh, and uh, welcome back to our coverage here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. I'm Gary Dolphin alongside former Hawkeye star Bobby Hansen. Time now to hear from our friends at Riverside Casino and Golf with the Hawkeye historical winning moment. Stop by for a relaxing massage at the spa, fine dining at Ruthie's Steak and Seafood, and so much more. Visit Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, located just minutes south of uh, Iowa City. February 28th of 2022, just a year ago, Iowa really played well from start to finish and beat the Hoosiers 90 to 68. And this was uh, just three days after rallying from a 13 point deficit in the final minute and a half of regulation to beat Michigan State 112 106. Uh, Bobby, you'll remember that game. That was the, uh, what, 13 point deficit with a minute and a half to go that the Hawkeyes uh, rallied back from and. Uh, 
and got uh, uh, one of the more electrifying wins in school history. Yeah, that's one what Peyton Sanford went off, I think, in that one is what I remember. But, uh, yeah, always good memories. Well, whatever uh, the sequence was, hang on here, got to get out of the way. We're right in the middle of traffic. I love coming to the old buildings. You're sitting in an Not aisle. Room. <laughs> but get the, here a little earlier, maybe. Yeah, the Hawkeyes beat Indiana by 22. Uh, Iowa improved to 19 and 11, 11 and 8 in the Big Ten. They really did everything right. Chris Murray made five of Iowa's 13 threes and grabbed seven rebounds. Tony Perkins finished with 23, 10 rebounds and a career-high eight assists. We take that again tonight. Sanford and Philip Rabracha each had 16 points apiece. And after two misses, Aaron Eulis brings the ball back down the floor for the Hawkeyes. So the Hawks get a stop. Here's a skip pass to Rabracha. Left of the lane, banging bodies with Race Thompson. Now they swing it around wide side to Chris Murray. His three is good. And in transition, here's Rabracha. Jump steps, jump hook, up and in. As he jumps step to a stop inside the block charge circle. Eulis around Hood Shafino jump stops to Perkins in the corner. His three, good. Tony Perkins with a long three from the corner. Nine rebounds to seven in favor of Iowa. Here's Sanford, a catch and shoot three, and that one curls in. Off the inbounds feed from Tony Perkins. Catch and shoot, Peyton Sanford. Little three-man weave out front. Playing catch here, Sanford with 15 to shoot. He lets fly, bingo, it's another one. Nothing but net. We take that kind of balance tonight. Uh, the Hawks put a bunch of guys in double figures. And, uh, Bobby, that was a stretch, uh, really, that solidified Iowa's NCAA tournament bid. Yeah, it really did there. You mentioned the uh, Michigan State game a, a few days prior to that. And then you come here on the road. Tough travel getting over here in that one, if I remember right. And the Hawks just annihilated Indiana right from the get-go. The fans were leaving it uh, halfway through the second half. So always good when you can put a knot on their head over here. Yeah, this was an Indiana 20-win team. And it struggled all night in its worst home loss in six years uh, to Iowa, uh, anywhere, to anybody. Uh, Iowa beats them 90 to 68. That's our Hawkeye historical winning moment. As always, courtesy of Riverside Casino and Golf Resort. Stop by today for a massage, fine dining at Ruthie's Steak and Seafood, and so much more. And in maybe a month or so, golf as Blue Top Ridge will be swinging open. Up next, we're going to check the U.S. Bank scoreboard and get an update from the Iowa City Sports Commission, a Hawkeye women's sports update. This is Hawkeye basketball from Lurfield. Go to the game to get a game program. You can download it now by visiting the game day page on HawkeyeSports.com. That's right. The game program is now digital and it's free. So check it out. Get the roster, the stats, and fascinating stories about today's matchup. Just go to HawkeyeSports.com and click on game day. Right now, you are not in the crowded Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. You're not cheering a Hawkeye steal, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit IALottery.com slash VIP. This is Gary Dolphin. Lennox has been building furnaces and air conditioners here in Iowa since 1895. And Lennox dealers have been selling and installing these high-efficiency Lennox products for just as long. When you call 72 Degrees Comfort Company in Ankeny and the Des Moines metro area, you know you're calling one of the best names in the indoor comfort business. Dave Lennox knows that when you turn to 72 Degrees, your home will be exceptionally comfortable. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and 72 Degrees. Lennox, 72 Degrees and the Hawkeyes. That's a winning combination. Whether you're building a backyard fence for your family's new best friend or firing up the excavator for your next commercial project, a free and simple call can save you from expensive fines and even save your life. Call 811 at least two days before you start your next project to have underground utility lines located and marked. At MidAmerican Energy, your safety is our number one priority. So make it your priority to call 811 before you dig. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. 
Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. Hawkeye Basketball tonight from the Assembly Hall in Bloomington, Iowa, Indiana. Always has a special ring to it, a great history of basketball between these two uh, the uh, trying to think Bobby Knight's first this is our first visit here by the way Bobby Hansen uh, since uh, coach Knight Bob Knight passing uh, last November 1st but man his presence is still felt with all those title banners flags those jerseys floating uh, up in the rafters and uh, on the walls uh, Brings back great memories of uh, Iowa and Indiana. I mean, you lived it. Uh, call it uh, fierce competitiveness, uh, antagonism, uh, competitive friction. I think that best describes uh, Knight, Lute Olson, and Tom Davis to a T. None gave an inch, and you guys had the players to back it up on both sides. Yeah, absolutely, Gary. And it brings back a lot of memories when you walk in here. Number one, when you drive up into this place, it's always gray and foggy and kind of raining here in Bloomington for whatever reason. And then you walk in, and everything is red. And you look at the banners up there, national champions, undefeated, 30-0, and 0, I think they were back in 1976 with Quinn Buckner and Kent Benson and that crew. Mike Woodson may have been a youngster on that team, maybe a freshman. I played against Mike uh, in his senior year when he was Big Ten Player of the Year in 1980. Uh, and then you, you fast forward the next year, 81, was Isaiah Thomas in the national championship year. Then you go to 87 there with uh, Steve Alford and Keith Smart making the shot on the baseline side. So just a ton of history. Um, you know, the fans are incredible here. Uh, they're, they're, they're starting to get a little bit soured, I think, on the program a little bit. They haven't won like they wanted to, them to win in Mike Woodson's fifth year. But uh, this is a game tonight, Gary, that they have circled on their calendar as one that uh, almost a must win for the Hoosiers. Yeah, I think they had it circled a year ago, too, when the Hawks came yeah, in, there you go. in here and ran them out of their own building. But it's hard to win. Uh, 17,000 this building will hold uh, because of the history and the rich tradition. But that's that's not going to have any factor uh, tonight once uh, the game starts. Uh, but you look up, you see those five national championship banners, three by Coach Knight's teams. Branch McCracken uh, had the other uh, two. Uh, and then you see eight Final Fours, 22 Big Ten championships, 46 All-Americans, 79 NBA draft picks. Wow. Uh, yeah, basketball is still king uh, here in Bloomington. Time now for the Iowa City Area Sports Commission Women's Sports Update. The Iowa City Area Sports Commission is responsible for our community being home to countless amateur sporting events and state tournaments. From volleyball to uh, girls wrestling this weekend starting on uh, Thursday, and uh, the boys' dual championships out there at uh, the Extreme Arena. Tennis, much more. The Sports Commission generates significant annual economic impact while adding substantially to our quality of life. The Iowa City Area Sports Commission is a proud presenting sponsor of the University of Iowa Women's Athletics. Learn more at wegotnext.org. Now the Hawkeye women's basketball team ranked fifth. Actually, they moved up to, what, third? Yeah. They're now third in the rankings uh, as of yesterday. So the Hawkeyes are uh, on the road. In fact, they uh, rolled into uh, Evanston this afternoon, Welsh Ryan Arena. That game tomorrow night will air at 7 o'clock. Robbie Brooks and uh, Catherine Reynolds will have the pregame coverage at 645. The uh, Hawkeye women's swimming team 
will return to action this weekend in West Lafayette for competition with Minnesota, Northwestern, and Purdue. Uh, the Hawkeye women's tennis team with the uh, Head coach Sasha Schmid fell to Alabama 4-2 to on Sunday at the second day of the International Tennis Association kickoff weekend in Raleigh, North Carolina. Up next, the Hawks uh, play this weekend facing Kansas State and Denver University in the Rocky Mountain State Open. And the Hawkeye women's track and field team is headed in three different directions. Uh, they'll split their squad, travel to the New Mexico Collegiate Classic in Albuquerque the Mayo Invitational in South Bend, Indiana, and the Iowa State Classic over in Ames this weekend. And finally, the Hawkeye women's wrestlers are on the road to Sioux Falls, South Dakota. They've got a midweek tomorrow night, Wednesday night duel against the University of Sioux Falls Cougars. Competition in the Stewart Center will start at 6 o'clock. If you live up in the Sioux City, northwest part of Iowa, in the Sioux Falls area, stop out and get a glance at Clarissa Chun's Hawkeye women's wrestling team. Coming up next, we've got more on our Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. We'll look at the U.S. Bank scoreboard. Not much to report, but we'll tell you what's going on tonight. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Are aches, pains, or injuries keeping you on the sidelines? At Athletico, our movement experts are here to help you turn your setbacks into comebacks and create a personalized game plan for your recovery. With no prescription or referral needed, Athletico Physical Therapy is where your comeback story begins. Get started today by scheduling a free assessment at athletico.com. Proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Let's be honest, we all like to be noticed. Picture yourself striding into Kinnick Stadium, radiating both style and comfort, while fellow Hawkeye fans can't help but ask, where'd you get that shirt? With pride, you point to the big screen and reply, it's authentic brand. Discover the remarkable difference that apparel with the authentic brand label brings. Ask for it by name at your favorite boutique, spirit shop, or retailer. Or shop online at authentic-brand.com. It's time for a change in your style. It's time for authentic brand. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, Melrose Meadows. Voted Iowa City's best retirement community, the Hotel and Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel, and the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor. Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community. Garage, indoor pool, and more. Visit MelroseMeadows.com for more information. Around here, Jack Frost nips more than just your nose. That's why the Midwest gets Honda. Dependable, all-wheel drive, with heated steering wheel and seats to keep Jack Frost off your seat, which will make it very happy. And since it's no fun to gas up in this weather, isn't it cool that Honda has such legendary fuel efficiency? New Hondas are arriving, but so is Mr. Frost. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Lots of insurance companies make promises about how much you can save if you switch over to them. Well, here's our promise. With the West Bend policy, you can save everything. Every memory. Every detail. Everything you've worked so hard for. Once it comes time to actually make a claim, a cheap insurance policy can really cost you. Why not protect everything that matters with a policy from West Bend? Because the worst brings out our best. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Hey, it's your friend, Social Media. You know, where I showcase the cool life of sports stars and friends. But don't fall for the editing and good lighting because we all have struggles and challenges like with alcohol or drug use, gambling, or our mental health. Talking about it is a sign of strength. Maybe you don't know who to talk to. Your Life Iowa can give you resources or treatment options. Get free 24-7 confidential support. Call, text, or chat online at yourlifeiowa.org. A message from Iowa HHS. Welcome back to the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Biodiesel, moving Iowa forward. 
Carried off and with Bobby Hanson, we're at the Assembly Hall in Bloomington, where the Hawks are getting set to take on the Indiana Hoosiers. Both are 12 and 8. Both are 4 and 5 in the Big Ten. Something's got to give here tonight. Mike Woodson, uh, the head coach in his fifth year at Indiana, one of Bobby Knight's great players, and now the head coach at Indiana after a, a long, successful career as a player and coach in the NBA. So, Bobby, what's your opening volley look like for the Hawkeyes to win back-to-back -back games on the road combating uh, Coach Woodson's uh, style of play. Well, what he's going to try to do, Gary, is get back and take away your, your transition game, your fast break. So the Hawkeyes have got to rebound the basketball and then don't let them slow you down. You've got to get your fast break going and, and uh, get, find your shooters. Find Peyton Sanford, Owen Freeman inside. The big guy is on a roll right now. Tony Perkins, you know what he's going to give you. He's going to attack at every opportunity. But uh, the big thing here today, if you don't let those guards get any confidence. They're bad shooters from the outside. Don't allow any confidence. Try to make a shot early in this basketball game. Get after him defensively. And like uh, Jordan Bohannon before him, uh, the student body uh, loves to get after uh, Peyton Sanford, but that's okay. He hopefully has the right answer for him with more hot shooting. That'll fire him up. I remember last year he blew some kisses to him as he uh, exited here with that 90 to 68 win, I think it was, uh, by the Hawkeyes. A stunning the uh, Indiana faithful here. So uh, this is a really good shooting uh, backdrop, shooting facility. Been a lot of great shooters go through here look for Peyton Sanford to have a big night tonight you know and I've been thinking about this today uh, this is the type of game that Lodgy Dembele even though he's hampered a little bit with that sprained ankle this is his type of game physical uh, matching up with a lot of athletes that are built like Lodgy. Yeah, going to need him. Going to need everybody. Going to need Patrick, his height and his length in there. Got to need everybody to get on the boards and, and uh, get after because they're going to come at you physically. Mbakwe, uh, Mbakwo, uh, Renu is a physical player. You got to know that he's left-handed. Where? Not so much. He's tall and thin, but he is a shot blocker at the rim. But uh, when you get need rebounds, Lodgy Dembele would be one to, to point to to get in there and give me some rebounds. Congratulations to our United Healthcare Small Business Spotlight winner this week, Base Point Wealth. Proudly headquartered in Cedar Rapids, Base Point Wealth fee only advisors provide the independent and transparent wealth management advice to clients throughout the state of Iowa. For more information and important disclosures, please visit basepointwealth.com. That's basepointwealth.com. This week's United Healthcare Spotlight on Small Business. Uh, before we take a break, let's go to the U.S. Bank scoreboard. Courtesy of uh, U.S. Bank, you know what? U.S. Bank, they know when you invest in a community, the community invests in you. U.S. Bank is committed to providing high-quality, innovative products and services that meet the needs and demands of our customers. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Iowa and Indiana will tip off at 6, Iowa time, a little after 6 o'clock, as will Illinois at Ohio State. 10th rank Illinois uh, in Columbus to take on the Buckeyes tonight. Ohio State comes to Iowa City Friday night. Tickets available. Dial 1-800-IA-HAWKS. 1-800-IA-HAWKS or walk right up to the ticket office window tomorrow and purchase some entertainment. Big Ten basketball. Uh, the second half of the doubleheader tonight is Michigan at Michigan State. That's an 8 o'clock tip-off. Uh, Tom Izzo again going for his 700th uh, career win. There's only a handful of coaches uh, at that level. Michigan, Michigan State in the battle uh, for that uh, that great state's bragging rights for at least a couple weeks till they meet again uh, in uh, Ann Arbor. Uh, the Hawkeye women we mentioned travel to Northwestern tomorrow. That's a 7 o'clock tip, 6.45 for the pregame on the Hawkeye Radio Network with Rob Brooks and Katherine Reynolds. Hey, it's a new season at Kohl's. Find fresh everyday styles for you and your home at great prices. Shop Kohl's and Kohl's.com today. Up next, we'll hear from Hawkeye head coach Fran McCaffrey. He's presented by your Iowa John Deere dealers. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just needs someone to listen. 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments, they're what make life remarkable. 
And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment. Committed to making health care better, more affordable, with more choices for care. And service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment. Knowing that Blue is here for you. Go to Wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. Are aches, pains, or injuries keeping you on the sidelines? At Athletico, our movement experts are here to help you turn your setbacks into comebacks and create a personalized game plan for your recovery. With no prescription or referral needed, Athletico Physical Therapy is where your comeback story begins. Get started today by scheduling a free assessment at athletico.com. Proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area. Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation, Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online, quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. This is Gary Dolphin. Lennox has been building furnaces and air conditioners here in Iowa since 1895. And Lennox dealers have been selling and installing these high-efficiency Lennox products for just as long. When you call 72 Degrees Comfort Company in Ankeny and the Des Moines metro area, you know you're calling one of the best names in the indoor comfort business. Dave Lennox knows that when you turn to 72 Degrees, your home will be exceptionally comfortable. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and 72 Degrees. Lennox, 72 Degrees, and the Hawkeyes. That's a winning combination. Welcome back to the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. The Hawks and the Hoosiers on the floor warming up for a uh, dinner bell tip-off at 6 o'clock. Iowa and Indiana both 12 and 8, 4 and 5 in the conference. And Big Ten victories uh, from here on out uh, mean so much uh, to your net and your Ken Palm and quad this and quad that. And so this is a huge game. And, of course, anytime you win a road game, Bobby, that's even more uh, delicious. It is absolutely delicious. And the Hawkeyes working on two roadies right now with the, the win at Minnesota and then the uh, nice win up at the Ann Arbor there with Michigan. So this is another one that's uh, in their gun sights, Gary. Play good. You can get this game. Can't turn it over, and you got to make shots. That's how I opened up my visit with Fran uh, McCaffrey uh, a little bit earlier. He's brought to you by your Iowa John Deere dealers. Uh, including Sinclair Tractor in West Liberty. Uh, Fran, why wouldn't he be? The head coach very impressed with that second half, especially at Michigan. He would like to see more of the same. You know, I, I, I thought we made really good decisions in the second half. Uh, it obviously helps when Peyton's on fire like that, but I thought Tony leading the team the way he did. We got great play from our post, but just solid play across the board. You know, Josh Dix. You know, when I went to my bench, uh, you know, Patrick, they were all rock solid, and that's what you need on the road. Coach, it sure is a thing of beauty when uh, Peyton and Tony are clicking uh, on the same wavelength. Well, you know, when Tony's handling the ball that way, you're not turning it over. There's no live ball turnover runouts. You get a shot every time down. We have good shooters. We have a lot of ways we can go get points. But it starts with our ability to get stops and push the pace, and that's what we need to do tonight. How about Owen Freeman, seventh Big Ten freshman of the week on it. That's tied for second most uh, in the history of the league. Uh, 14, 15 points and nine rebounds on average. And yet, he'll tell you, he just wants to get better every day. And he's working to that end. But the incredible thing is, you look at his numbers, and he's been in foul trouble. If we keep him out of foul trouble, who knows what his numbers are going to look like. Uh, he's really working on that aspect, you know, doing his work early at the defensive end. Uh, but he can score and rebound. He can run the floor. And impact the game in a lot of ways. Coach, uh, Mike Woodson has started, uh, I think, eight different lineups uh, 
uh, coming into tonight's game. Uh, there's two ways to look at that. E either some guys are struggling or he's got a lot of young talent mixed with the old, and he certainly has that. He definitely does. He's got some new guys, but he also has had some injuries. I think Ware's back tonight. That makes a big difference. Johnson had been hurt. He was a guy they're counting on, 60-year guy. Of course, we played against him when he was at Pitt many years ago. But, you know, when you look at Galloway and Johnson in the backcourt, two veteran guys, and then two veteran guys in the front court in, in Renew and Ware, they're only sophomores, but they played a lot. And then uh, Mbako is one of the best freshmen in our league. Yeah, describe Renew and Mbako. We haven't seen them yet. Well, Renew, uh, lefty, great post player. You know, he was, he was the next guy in last year after Trace and Race. Uh, showed us a lot last year what he could become, and now they're going to him. Uh, and he's done a really good job of that. He handles the pressure, the double team, makes plays. Uh, Mbako, really versatile. Can handle it, rip and drive, shoot the three, uh, get on the glass, uh, really impacts the game at both ends. You could say this about every arena in the Big Ten, but especially here with the crowd, it's important to get off to a good start. You did that last year. We did that last year. I mean, Chris was on fire early. We jumped him. They were able to maintain a lead. I thought Tony Perkins in particular, Peyton, were really good. Connor had a spectacular game. Uh, you know, Bracha was great. So we're going to need really good play tonight from Ben and Owen in particular, but also Lodgy and Evan. Thanks, Fran. Appreciate it, though. Our pregame visit with Iowa coach Fran McCaffrey is sponsored by Sinclair Tractor. Sinclair Tractor is your premier John Deere dealer serving southeast Iowa, western Illinois, and northeast Missouri. Stop by and experience how we strive to earn your business every day. Visit SinclairTractor.com. As a proud sponsor of the Hawks, U.S. Cellular wants you to make the most of today by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Up next, Iowa, Indiana preview with Bobby Hansen. He's got his club car wash keys to a Hawkeye victory. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. With the Hawkeyes, every pass, shot, layup, and score is more than just part of the game. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow grease, and can-do attitude it takes to win. In the same way, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Get a slam dunk by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes to learn more. Go Hawks! The big game, family, friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga, breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type, with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org cancer. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. 
Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, the hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel, the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor, and Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community. Jill Armstrong and her team strive to make every buyer and seller at ease with the real estate process. If you are in the market to buy or sell a home, contact the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty. For all your real estate needs, call 319-631-5455. This is the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show, delivering solutions for every life, every day. Hawkeyes and the Hoosiers coming up in about 15 minutes here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. That brings us to Bobby Hansen's Club Car Wash keys to the game. Club Car Wash, the official car wash of the Iowa Hawkeyes with unlimited membership starting at just $20 a month. There's no better time to join the club. Visit clubcarwash.com and find a location nearest you. Bobby? Well, in any game, Gary, you always want to get off to a good start, like the Hawkeyes did last year. You heard Fran talk about they jumped them out there and uh, really wasn't, wasn't much of a game after that. But how do you get to that point? Well, I think the number one key is going to be the inside game. Uh, we now know that Khalil Ware will be the starter, seven-footer in there, but you add um, Malik Renu and uh, Mackenzie Mabako. Now, they're playing, both those guys are playing at a very high level, so now you add a guy that's been out a couple of games. They'll be protecting the rim in there, so um, that's where I, uh, Indiana will try to attack you. you got to rebound the basketball, keep those three bigs off the offensive glass. It'll be a huge priority on the Hawkeye uh, whiteboard in there to, to rebound, rebound and run. You can outrun, you can run this team out of this gym if you can get the defensive board and don't allow those offensive rebounders to come flying over the top. Second key is going to be the three-point shooting. Indiana blank at Illinois 0 for 9. Not a good three-point shooting team. It is not one of their strengths. The Hawkeyes on the other uh, side of it, they're a good sh- three-point shooting team. 8 of 16 at Michigan. You cannot let Galloway, Trey Galloway and Xavier Johnson get going. They are spotty shooters at best and they were out here early standing there making the three-point shots, but you you got to run them off that three-point line. Don't allow any easy looks. You might see the Hawkeyes, excuse me, the Hawkeyes in a lot of zone here tonight to keep them on that outside. Play man-to-man principles, but you're going to be sitting in the zone to keep those big guys out of there. Third key for me, Tony Perkins, TP, been playing at an all-Big Ten level. Comes home here tonight uh, into Indiana. We need Tony to continue to attack, keep pressure on the Indiana defense. They're going to try and slow down the Hawkeye fast break and try to pick you up at half court. you got to go by him and uh, find Peyton, find the three-point shooters, and in any road game, you need contribution from everybody that comes into the game. Everybody's got to be on point. Indiana's leading scorer, Malik Renu, he's averaging 16 and a half points a game. That's good for a ninth best in the conference. For the Hawkeyes, Ben Cricky and Tony Perkins, both averaging 15 a game. Uh, of course, you've got uh, uh, Peyton Sanford just under that. Hawks appear to have more balanced scoring and attack. Uh, Indiana uh, loves to hang its hat on that half-court man-to-man defense. So we got two uh, two opposing styles colliding here at Assembly Hall in Bloomington, and we're back to describe it for you in just a minute. Those are Bobby Hansen's uh, keys to the game, courtesy of our friends at Club Car Wash. There's no better time to join the club than right now, especially uh, the way this winter has gone. Visit clubcarwash.com. Find a location nearest you. And Hawk fans, experience your home away from home at Coralville's finest all-suite hotels. Homewood Suites and Home 2 Suites by Hilton. Each offer guests spacious suites, complimentary breakfast, 24-hour fitness center, pool, hot tub, guest laundry, and convenient locations. Let their warm and friendly staff take care of you and your family when you next visit Hawkeye Country. We've got the Mid-American Energy starting lineups and the Farmer State Bank tip-off. Those are next. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Do the action with the Fight for Iowa podcast. Join host Gary Dolphin as he takes you behind the scenes with Hawkeye coaches, athletes, and alumni. Tune in weekly on HawkeyeSports.com, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and more. Your front row seat to Hawkeye Athletics. 
American Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Hey, Hawk fans, this message is for anyone looking for that first job, or maybe a job that's actually fun. The Wigan Pen in Ankeny is hiring. The Wigan Pen is locally owned and offers flexible hours with competitive pay and a fun environment. Stop by any time, Wednesday through Sunday, to apply. The Wigan Pen in Ankeny, serving tantalizing sandwiches, soup, salads, and famous signature pizzas from the Flying Tomato to Chicago Deep Dish, and quenching your thirst with a full bar and a wide selection of beer on tap while you watch the game. The Wigan Pen Pizza Pub. Eat, drink, work, and play. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon called. It's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See Credit Union for details. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. Starting lineups for Iowa, Indiana are brought to you by Mid-American Energy. Mid-American Energy makes reliability a slam dunk with a balanced energy mix of wind, solar, and other sources that ensure you always have the power you count on. Learn more at midamericanenergy.com. For the host, Indiana Hoosiers, Mike Woodson in his third year. Hoosiers are 12-8, and 4-5 and five in the Big Ten. They average... 75 points a game. They give up 74 points a game. And they'll start at a guard, Xavier Johnson, a 6'3 redshirt senior from Woodbridge, Virginia. Started his career at Pittsburgh University a few uh, a few seasons ago, averaging eight points, couple rebounds, couple of assists. Uh, Xavier Johnson shoots 41% from the field. Anthony Walker, who has been starting, he will come off the bench tonight, a 6'8 senior from Baltimore and a transfer from Miami, Florida. A Khalil Ware, who's missed the last couple games with a lower body injury, is back in the lineup, the transfer from the University of Oregon. He's got a lot of talent, 7-foot, 240-pound sophomore. Originally from North Little Rock, Arkansas, averaging 14 points and nine rebounds. Forward is Malik Renu, their leading scorer at 17 points, six rebounds on the season with three assists. 6'9", 230-pound sophomore from Miami, Florida. Mackenzie Mbako at a forward, 6'8", freshman from Gladstone, New Jersey, one of those prized recruits that Mike Woodson got in here last season. He's averaging 11 points, four rebounds. And Trey Galloway at guard, a 6'5", 205-pound senior from Culver, Indiana. Galloway's been hanging around a few years. Trey can be a good shooter. He has struggled, though, averaging 11 points, two rebounds a game, just 28% from three. For the Iowa Hawkeyes, Josh Dick starts at a guard, 6'5", sophomore from Council Bluffs, averaging seven points and two rebounds, but he's averaging nine points a game since being inserted into the starting lineup. Tony Perkins, the incomparable Tony Perkins of late, 6'4", senior from up the road at Indianapolis at Lawrence North High School. Tony's dumping in 15 a game, four rebounds, four assists, and to Bobby's point, nobody's playing better in the Big Ten than Tony Perkins, and 81% from the foul line. Peyton Sanford matched his career high with 26 the other day up at Michigan. We'll start at a guard. The junior, 6'7", from Waukee. Peyton's back up to 15.7 rebounds a game. Ben Cricky, the 6'9", 240-pound grad student from Edmonton, Alberta, by way of Valparaiso University in Indiana. Ben Iowa's leading scorer at 16 points and five rebounds. He's also 
dishing out a couple of assists per game. And the Big Ten's freshman of the week again for a seventh time, Owen Freeman, 6'10", 235-pounder, averaging 11.6 rebounds. Hawks will come off the bench with Brock Harding, Desante Bowen, Laji Dembele, Patrick McCaffrey got in for a few minutes uh, last weekend. It was good to get him back off that sprained ankle. And, of course, Price Sanford will see some minutes. Those are the Mid-American Energy starting lineups. The Farmer State Bank tip-off of Iowa, Indiana is next. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. You might think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. While farmers work hard to grow the best crop, their Iowa corn checkoff investments are hard at work, too. Opening local and global markets for corn and corn-fed products. Educating drivers on unleaded 88 as the best fuel at the pump. Finding new uses for corn and sharing the farmer's story. Iowa corn farmers are backed by researchers, educators, market experts, and more. To keep corn growing Iowa. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. After I drop the kids off, I have to run across town for a meeting, hit the gym during lunch, Jake has soccer tonight, and Emily has gymnastics? Oh, did I turn on the crock pot this morning? <laughs> With a never-ending to-do list, it's easy to forget something important, like setting up a life insurance plan with Shelter Insurance. Your local shelter agent can show you how to create a safety net for your family. Don't let life get in the way of what's most important. Visit shelterinsurance.com to learn more. Shelter Life Insurance Company, Columbia, Missouri. Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. With the Hawkeyes, every pass, shot, layup, and score is more than just part of the game. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow grease, and can-do attitude it takes to win. In the same way, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Get a slam dunk by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes to learn more. Go Hawks! It takes hard work to be the best in the game. Planning, commitment, resilience, sweat. That's why Old Dominion Freight Line, the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion Freight Line, official freight carrier of Iowa Athletics, helping the world keep promises. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, from Learfield, Hawkeye Basketball is brought to you by 988 Lifeline. If you or someone you know needs support now, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. West Bend, the silver lining. Mid-American Energy, look up, look out for overhead power lines. Visit midamericanenergy.com for electrical safety tips. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Hawkeye Basketball. By your local Ford dealers. And by Authentic Brand, unique Hawkeye apparel at Authentic-Brand.com. It's game time. Out of Peyton Sanford. Across the court to McCaffrey. Here's Sanford for three more. Yes, sir! 54. And a foul. You're listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes with Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Here's Gary Dolphin and Bobby Hansen. Great job by the uh, national anthem. 
featuring the Indiana Pep Band. Indiana University ROTC presenting uh, the colors will now make their way off the floor. Good evening, ladies we'll and gentlemen. We'll have the uh, introduction of the starting lineups and we'll be underway. Tonight's matchup featuring the Iowa Hawkeyes. Building is filling up even with this uh, early tip for Indiana and Iowa. Critical Big Ten game uh, where the standings are concerned. Both these teams at four victories, five defeats in the conference are uh, right in the middle of uh, the Big Ten standings. And Bobby, as you know, uh, this time of year, you can make a move up real quick or drop in a hurry. Yeah, you got to take them one at a time, though, Gary. And uh, anytime you can get a chance, you get an opportunity for a road win like you have here tonight, you got to take advantage of it. And you got to play well. I mean, you, you got to be be on point. You, you can't turn it over. Um, you got to limit your offensive rebounds. You got to make your shots. And you got to stay on the floor. We need our key players to uh, play the big minutes. Owen Freeman, Ben Cricky, uh, Peyton Sanford. Peyton had two fouls again in the Michigan game. Still had a fabulous game with a great second half. But he's got to learn to uh, stay on the floor a little bit more. A guy might score 40. You heard Fran in the pregame show. He's averaging about 19. And Fran McCaffrey said, uh, imagine if he averaged 29 minutes a game, what he, what he might be doing. We hope that that gets started tonight. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification from uh, Assembly Hall in Bloomington. 10-second ID break here on the Hawkeye Radio Network to allow our stations to identify themselves. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Basketball. to our 50 station strong Hawkeye Radio Network led by flagships WHO in Des Moines and in Cedar Rapids WMT AM 600 in Marshalltown you hear the Hawks on KFKB AM and FM Mason City is the home of KGLO 1300 on the AM dial over in Clinton we've got you covered on the river at KROS AM, AM and FM in the Quad Cities it's WOC 1420 and in the uh, 1420 on the AM dial. And in uh, the Cedar Valley, Waterloo, Cedar Falls, Waverly's KWAY 99.3 FM is where you can hear the Hawks. Tonight's opening tip is sponsored by the Farmer State Bank. Earn $250 when you open an eligible checking account at the Tiffin Branch of Farmer State Bank. Get rewarded for banking with FSB. Your eligible checking account can be opened uh, at the Tiffin branch or online. Visit myfsbonline.com. Myfsbonline.com for complete details. Subject to approval, minimum $50 deposit. Requires e-statements and direct deposit. Member FDIC. Farmers State Bank. Bobby, you mentioned it early. Uh, this Indiana team has been running the gauntlet. Uh, three consecutive ranked teams, Purdue, uh, Illinois, and uh, who was the third one? I lost track now. Wisconsin. Wisconsin, the Badgers. Wisconsin, yeah. yeah. They got uh, whipped soundly by Purdue. I mean, everybody does by Purdue these days, it seems. Played a great game at Illinois uh, on Saturday and led that game for a good portion. But in the end, scored only 62 points. That's not going to get it done in this league. No, they struggled to score. They struggled to shoot. They can't make free throws. Can't, they were 0 for 9, three-point shooting. And uh, the other thing is they had a week to prepare for Illinois, listening to the comments post-game. So they really zoned in on their defense, their man-to-man -man defense. And it was good. So I would assume that will carry over some here tonight. But uh, Illinois doesn't run like Iowa. Iowa has the opportunity here. If they can rebound, if you can defensive rebound, Gary, you can get out and go and get some, uh, get some easy buckets on these guys. Guys are a little slow in transition, getting back those big guys and uh, get the shooters warmed up. Get Peyton Sanford going. Hawkeyes need to bring some of that defense they had in the second half against Michigan. Held the uh, Wolverines at 28% shooting mm. while shooting uh, 
55 themselves. More of that, please. That's a two-point game Saturday in Ann Arbor. They really showed me some of that second half. Came out on the road and put a 10-0 run on, on the Wolverines and led the rest of the way. Yeah, that's uh, Coach McCaffrey talked about that uh, in the post-game comments is that they did that to us over in Iowa City. So he said that's what we wanted to do, that, give it back to them here in Ann Arbor. Well, I think we're ready to play basketball. I always <laughs> love it when the starting lineups take longer than the first half. Yeah, they're all about hype here. Now. Oh, my. That's the state of the game today. Yeah. Khalil Ware will jump center with Owen Freeman. And Ware at seven feet. Freeman almost out jumped him, but not quite. Indiana controls uh, the opening tip. And Xavier Johnson with it. Center court. Iowa man to man. A good matchup, Tony Perkins, Xavier Johnson. I guess. They're running a lot of screens for Johnson. Here's a backdoor heave and a layup good. Fox went for the steal, and Malik Renu gets the first basket of the game. As he got behind the Iowa defense, he was actually double team. Here's Perkins to Freeman for Peyton Sanford. Turn, shoots a three, and splash down. Wow. Peyton Sanford picks right up where he left off on Saturday, 3-2 Iowa. There wasn't much room there to shoot either. He was heavily guarded by uh, Mbakwe there, and they just shot over the top of him, dotted his eye for the three. Hawks on top by one. We played 40 seconds here at the Assembly Hall. There's a standstill three on the way. It's good. Mackenzie Mbako. For a team that doesn't shoot the three well, they get out of the gate with a three. Good screen there on the wing. That freed up Mbako. Cricky with a left-handed dribble. Leaves it for Josh Dix. He weaves his way inside. Has the layup blocked from behind. Gets it back. Now to Perkins. To Josh on the right wing. They respect his three-point shooting ability. Renu covered him up. He gets around. Renu drives inside. Hits the layup. Scores off glass. 4-3 Iowa. Yeah, nice move by Josh Dix. Clock winding down. Crossed over his defender. He almost stumbled there. I think it was Renu. Josh gets a layup. Played a minute and a half. Here's another standstill three. Good again. This time by Malik Renu. Nobody out there guarding him. Yeah, Mbako. Once again, that was the guy that shot that one there. So, got to get out on him. Whatever. It's 8-5. to five. Indiana's throwing him in from everywhere right now. Tony Perkins. Two minutes gone opening half. Here's Josh Dix doubled along the sideline. Gets rid of it. Jump passes to Sanford. Now to Cricky, who makes a move to the basket, shot up, no good. He got bodied up pretty good. Out of bounds to Iowa, or to uh, Indiana, excuse me. So the Hoosiers have the basketball. Leading 8-5, to back-to-back -back threes by Renu and Mbako. Into the front court is Xavier Johnson. He's bodied up on, guarded closely by Perkins. Oh, he gets around him, weaves inside, he's fouled. Count the basket. Oh, what a move by Johnson yeah. there on Perkins. Yeah, it was a good move there. They cleared out the side. And Tony uh, went for the, the crossover. Xavier Johnson, a seasoned veteran, went right to the rim. Foul by Tony, the end one coming. Indiana doubles up the Hawkeyes at 10-5. 17-44 to play. Johnson, the uh, redshirt senior from Woodridge, uh, Virginia, started out at Pitt. 71% free thrower. It's on the way and good. Uh, Indiana with the hot start here offensively tonight. 11 to 5. The Hawks are in a six point hole, and we've only played two and a half minutes. There's a catch on the wing by Cricky. He gets away, shoving off with an elbow. Jump shot, no good. Cricky goes after the rebound, but can't. Beat Trey Galloway to it. Now we've got a, a Renew. whistle. Renewed down. He had a bad ankle at Illinois, Gary. He twisted. He was walk, came out of the locker room in a, in a uh, walking boot, I believe. So it looks like he may have re-injured that right ah, ankle. I did not see him go down. He's right in front of the Indiana bench. And so we have an injury whistle and a timeout. And Malik Renew. He carries a lot of weight on that 6'9 frame. 235 pounds. At 6'9", yeah, he's out of Miami, just a sophomore. And a talented, talented youngster from Monteverde Academy. Four, so he's going to go to the locker room, or at least try and walk it off. Probably retape it. And let's see, in for him is Anthony Walker, who had been starting, a 6'8", senior from Baltimore. He'll inbound. Indiana basketball. 
after getting another stop on the Hawkeyes. And the Hawks will go one, two, two, three quarter court pressure. Hopefully get some turnovers. Here's Galloway playing catch with Johnson. And they just do beat the 10 second violation. Across the midcourt stripe is Xavier Johnson. To Anthony Walker, right wing for Mbako. Now right of the lane to where he's bodied up on by Freeman. They were swinging around weak side and a blocking foul called on Peyton Sanford. Those are the ones you try to avoid right there, Jerry. We don't need Peyton Number Sanford three, picking that up. you got to be under control. Run, he's not a three-point shooter. Run him off the line, but have your closeouts under control so you don't foul. 17-03 to play in the first half. Peyton picked up his first foul. You need him on the floor. Yeah, a couple quick ones called on Iowa. And then it comes. Johnson's wide open for a jump shot. No good. Kicks to the corner. And Peyton Sanford runs it down, beating Mbako to the basketball. Here's Dix into the front court. Leaves it for Freeman. Freeman's yet to take a shot. Perkins will take his first and tucks it down. Tony Perkins. He's getting the rolls and he's getting the swishes. <laughs> and that tells you right there when you're playing well, you get all those things. You hit all four sides of the rim and fell to the to the net. And the Hawks get a break as uh, an unforced error on Johnson. He double dribbled. Bring the ball down the floor. A little hesitation against that Iowa press. Unsure of himself. Yeah, first turnover on the Hoosiers. Hawks have yet to turn it over. Now down 11 to 7. Iowa has the ball right back. A chance to get back to within two. Sanford throws it into the backcourt where Tony runs after it. Now trots into the front court with a dribble around a Freeman screen. Double screen by Freeman. Cricky holds up high post left. Shovel pass to Owen Freeman. He's double teamed. Right back to Cricky in the corner. Five to shoot. Three by Sanford. No good strong. Cricky hustles after the offensive rebound. Leans in. Has it stripped out of bounds. Touch last by Weir of uh, Indiana. 16-23 to play. Good hustle by Cricky there. Great hustle by Ben. Went and retrieved that missed shot. And went up. Thought he got fouled there. But Hawkeye basketball 17 on the clock. Perkins for Cricky. Out to get him is Walker. He respects that mid-range jump shot. Hey, look. Peyton Sanford. Out of Peyton, or to uh, Perkins. Tony's doubled and turns it over. The double team forced a turnover, and Johnson runs out and scores on a layup. Galloway with a steal. Now Josh Dix is run into, and uh, it'll be Iowa, basket Iowa basketball. No, actually, they called timeout. Called a 30. It'll be a 30-second timeout. Hmm. Wow. Hawks with back-to-back -back turnovers. They tried to hustle into the front court. Iowa threw it to half court, and Dix couldn't get the ball. He had a defender right in front of him. What a start for Indiana, Gary. Five out of six from the floor. Shooting 83%, two of three, three-point shooting. So they obviously put in some work after that Illinois game. Yeah, 13 to seven is the score. Indiana with the lead. Now we will take a full timeout with 16.03 to play in the first half. Iowa down six. To the Hoosiers here at Assembly Hall. This is Hawkeye Basketball. Presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But. The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Whether you're building a backyard fence for your family's new best friend or firing up the excavator for your next commercial project, a free and simple call can save you from expensive fines and even save your life. Call 811 at least two days before you start your next project to have underground utility lines located and marked. At MidAmerican Energy, your safety is our number one priority. So, make it your priority to call 811 before you dig. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments, they're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment. Committed to making healthcare better, more affordable, with more choices for care. And service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment. Knowing that Blue is here for you. Go to wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. Indiana with a hustle play here, calling a timeout after the steal in front of Josh Dix. 
And IU has the basketball. Iowa will play more defense after back-to-back -back turnovers by the Hawkeyes. Iowa trailing 13 to 7. Welcome back to Hawkeye Basketball, sponsored by Quickstar. Hawk fans, you can drive your team to a win this season by filling up with unleaded 88 with quick rewards at any Quickstar location. Fuel up with eight gallons or more of unleaded 88, and you'll be automatically entered for a chance to win great prizes, great prize packages throughout the season. Quickstar, proud partner of Hawkeye Basketball. Iowa sends out the same five. Cricky. Freeman, Perkins, Peyton Sanford, and Josh Dix. And Indiana will counter with, don't see any changes. Xavier Johnson in the backcourt along with uh, Mackenzie Mbako. Hawks going to look to play a little zone here in the defensive end. Anthony Walker, Trey Galloway, and Khalil Ware, the seven-footer in the middle. Hasn't touched the ball a whole lot. They're looking for him. Now he gets it right of the lane. He's fighting with Owen Freeman. Throws it to the wing before he gets knocked down. And here's a weak side feed. A long jump shot coming. And in and out, no good. The tip dunk is good by Renew. Owen Freeman just mistimed his jump a little bit. He had the rebound. But it took an extra hop off the rim. And that left Renew all alone. Cricky. Shot fake. Drives inside. Shot blocked away by Renew. Or by uh, Ware. Gets the ball back. Iowa keeps it with 10 to shoot. 15-7 Indiana. Dix. Right of the circle. Backs it up. Now goes down the left side of the lane. Step back jumper is no good short. Rebounded by Indiana's Khalil Ware. Tall timber. Hoosiers are hustling. Here's a kicking violation on Iowa as they try to force the ball inside. Indiana with a 15-7 lead. Hawks need to stop here or they're down double figures. 23 on the shot clock, 15 minutes on the game clock. Indiana with an underneath out of bounds, left of the uh, square. Out it comes to Johnson. Hawks stay in the, uh, well, now they're in the zone on the out of bounds play. Now in the near corner, Mbako, step back jumper, no good. Missed everything, Perkins with the clear out for the Hawkeyes. Into the front court, Dix is wide open, a three from the corner, good. Indiana lost him there. Good find. Tony Perkins had realized that nobody was over there, as he said, right in front of the Indiana bench. Kind of got lost there in the corner. Josh, a deep three. Tony's first assist of the night is a big one. Dix with a couple baskets. He's got five. Indiana back to within five. 15-10. Needing more stops. There's a backdoor lob to the big fellow. Jump shot up and good. Drop down through. Nice touch by Khalil Ware. Seven-footer, 242 pounds. Here's Perkins, Indiana back up seven, 17-10. He played six minutes. Peyton Sadford drives into the lane. Now a bounce pass for Freeman. He finally gets to touch the ball. Goes around the seven-footer and scores. Reverse layup, beautiful. Nice move by Owen Freeman there. Left Khalil Ware just standing there and saying, where did he go? But he is so good with the footwork on that baseline spin move. And the freshman gets his first basket, 17-12 Hoosiers. Indiana passing around the perimeter on this Iowa zone. There's a catch high post left. Johnson stumbles into the lane with a dribble, brings it back out to Galloway. Cross-court feed, dangerous pass. Mbako gets it, drives inside. Shot blocked away by Freeman. Stolen by the Hawks. Here comes Perkins leading a three-on-two. Dix for three, no good. Kicks long. Indiana now has three-on-two. They're running. Galloway all the way in. Layup good. Hawks immediately back into the front court. 19 to 12, Indiana. Here's Cricky, a blocking foul called as he made a move in transition and knocked down Anthony Walker. And that'll be a foul on the Hoosiers. It'll be side out for the Hawkeyes. I take that back. They're going to take it underneath the basket. And Perkins will inbound. Looking, looking, gets it to Dix. Shovel pass, Peyton. Long three by Sanford, rattles it in. Peyton Sanford brings the Hawks back to within four. Deep, deep three that time by Peyton Sanford. A pretty feed by the Hawkeyes. I think it was Perkins that gave him that uh, assist. Or, no, I'm sorry, Josh Dix gave him that assist. But uh, Peyton Sanford picking up right where he left off in Michigan. Got a pair of threes now, does Peyton. 19-15, Indiana. Hawks need some stops. Here's Galloway. He's open for three. That one's long. Rebound tipped up over the basket. It'll be Iowa basketball. I think it was Mbako who punched it up over the square. 
Lodgy Dembele and Patrick McCaffrey check in for the Hawkeyes. Josh Dix is out along with Tricky. Indiana Mbako gets his first breather. Into the game is Anthony Leo, so the Hoosiers lose some size. Also into the game, I guess that's the only change for the Hoosiers at this moment. Johnson pestering Perkins in the backcourt. The belly comes and sets a screen. The Hawks bring it across the midcourt stripe. 12 and a half to play first half. Indiana 19, Iowa 15. The Hoosiers 8 for their first 13. Red hot with a couple of three-point goals. Perkins muscles his way in. Shot blocked away and stolen away. Taken by Anthony Leo. Stayed right with Perkins and blocked the shot. Here's Galloway for three. No good. Rebound off the glass. Controlled by McCaffrey. Tipped by Lodgy Dembele. One and done for the Hoosiers. 12.05 to play first half. Iowa with the ball. Down four. Peyton Sanford. Around Galloway. Down the left side of the lane. Now has the ball knocked away. But right to Dembele. To McCaffrey. Patrick backs the dribble out. Dembele on the right wing, lobs up a three, rattles in and out, and comes away. Indiana with the rebound. Xavier Johnson. Oh, it looked good all the way. Halfway down. Here's a stop and go move by Johnson. He feeds it inside to where. Knocked away by Lodgy Dembele. Intended for the seven-footer. Patrick McCaffrey with a steal. Patrick with a crossover dribble to a trailing Perkins. His three, no good. He rushed that shot, and the rebound is taken away by Indiana. Out of bounds. Touch last by Dembele. It'll be Indiana basketball when play resumes. Hawks back to within four after trailing by eight. It's 19-15. Indiana set up the best zone defense from home heating costs this winter. Tune your furnace, seal up drafts around your home, and visit midamericanenergy.com. Find ways, more ways, to keep warm with less energy. And March is a great time to schedule your vasectomy, guys. The expert urologists at UI Healthcare specialize in both standard and minimally invasive vasectomy procedures. This March, get benched. Recover listening to the Hawks on the radio in March Madness. Schedule your appointment now. Visit uihc.org slash appointment. 1915 Hoosiers midway through the first half. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited. We provide experiential travel and vacation planning for Hawkeye fans across the state. Contact one of our destination experts to start planning your next trip at duagency.com. What happens when you call your insurance company? If you have water in your basement, press 1. Most big companies have a recorded message or an app. If you are in your living room and see sky when you look up, press 2. But when something bad happens, you just want to talk to a person. On a day like that, that phone line can end up feeling like a lifeline. At a time like that, you want a company like West Bend. Because the worst brings out our best. If there is a tree in your bedroom, press 3. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Royal Flooring has everything for your home from the floors up. Did you know we also feature appliances, custom cabinetry to update your kitchens, bathrooms, and more? Yep, we're more than just flooring. Shop Royal Flooring today. You crazy? Bring home the bacon. When you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments, your bacon called, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. Indiana with the hot start still has the lead, 19-15. couple lead changes early. Peyton Sanford hit a three to give the Hawks uh, their only lead. Uh, Peyton has a pair of threes, and the Hawkeyes trail at 19-15 with 11.28 to go. Welcome back to our Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield broadcast table. The Hawkeyes trying to get to level 500 in the Big Ten again. Both teams are 4-5, and five, and looks like Indiana probably uh, is going to be without uh, Malik Renew the rest of the game. He has not come back from the locker room yet, Bobby. No, he was limping pretty good, and... Uh trying to walk it off, but he, uh, as you mentioned, Gary, he has not come back. Not a good sign for the Hoosiers. He, he's been playing at an all-Big Ten level here the, the past Yeah, month. the injuries continue for the Hoosiers. They just got wear back tonight. You mentioned Renew's injury, uh, ankle injury problems. Indiana with a couple of substitutes in the game will 
Get you caught up with those in a minute. Gabe Cups, a freshman, has the ball. And he leaves it for Anthony Leo. Desade Bowen in for the Hawkeyes. That's the only change for Iowa for the moment. Given Tony Perkins his first breather. Cross-court feed. There's a bounce baseline right inside of the seven-foot center, and he stuffs it through. What a great ball movement there by Indiana. Yeah, that was a good offensive play. That gives the Hawkeye zone defense. They moved it from side to side, brought it over here in front of the Hawkeye bench, and then found a man in the short corner, and he, a bounce pass in the side to where. Nothing the Hawkeyes could do. Anthony Walker with the great assist to where, and he catches it in that low. Look out. Owen Freeman throws it out to Patrick McCaffrey. 12 to shoot for the Hawkeyes. Down six. Here's Dembele, a little pop-up jumper, no good, right of the lane, up over the top of where, where misdirected that shot. Here come the Hoosiers running. Galloway around Dix, leans into the lane, throws it to the lane. Now top for where, he can shoot the three and banks it in. Now they all count. He's shaking his head. He can't quite believe it, but it went in, kissed off the square. Now Indiana with five quick points, up nine. 24-15. Dembele throws up another three. That, no good. That's not his shot. Early in the shot clock, and the Hawkeyes hustle back on defense. Galloway drives into Patrick McCaffrey. Shot up, no good. Rebound tipped out by McCaffrey to Lodgy Dembele. Back to Patrick. Hawks are 6 for 19, 31%. Got to find somebody that can score. Dix has got a couple baskets. He's got it. He has it on the wing. Can't get it inside to Dembele. Indiana's now in a zone. Here's a pass to the baseline. Dix circles through with eight to shoot. Comes out the other side. Now step back three is no good. Line drives off the heel of the iron to Galloway. 9.27 to play in the first half. Iowa down 24-15. It's been a 5-0 run here out of the timeout for the Hoosiers. Ben Cricky going to come back in in a moment. Gabe Cups, the freshman from Dayton, Ohio. Throws it to the wing. Here's a wide open look for three, and it's good. Dembele got there late. Anthony Leo gives Indiana its first double-digit lead. 27-15. The team that couldn't make a three the other night. They've got four of them here tonight, Gary. Four out of nine. Oh, that's amazing how quick it can change. Dix. Now the Hawks can't buy a basket at the other end. Dix with a screen from Freeman. To Bowen. Josh Dix is hurt. He pulled up lane there. Bowen gets in the lane. Step back jumper. No good. Freeman with a rebound. Shot up. Blocked away by Weir. Freeman has it taken away. Indiana getting it done at both ends. Galloway keeping the pressure on. Drives in it deep. Leaves it for Anthony Leo. Now to Cups in the corner. 8-18 to play. Indiana out of the timeout with an 8-0 run, and they've gone from 4 up to 12 up. Here's Leo backing in, or Ware backing in on Freeman. Throws it out front, another 3 is good. Unused guys off the bench. Yeah, oh, Indiana's bench. Open. Indiana's bench giving them a huge lift, and it's a five-and-a-half minute drought for the Hawkeyes. 30-15, to 15, Indiana with a lead, 8-0-3 to play in the first half. Hawkeye basketball is sponsored by our friends at Wellmark. Hawk fans, Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield knows you're here for every fadeaway, every alley oop, every buzzer beater. And Wellmark is here for every moment, too, with trusted health care coverage committed to making health care better. Learn more at Wellmark.com slash hoops. As a proud sponsor of the Hawkeyes, U.S. Cellular wants you to make the most of today by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Cellular built for us. Indiana 5 of 10 from distance and Anthony Leo just hit his second in succession. This is the Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield Hawkeye basketball courtesy of Learfield. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Iowa basketball. 
How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bose, pediatric neurologist with the University of Iowa Healthcare. Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. Learn more at uihc.org. Hawkeyes need a big rally here with eight minutes to go in the first half. Already down 15. They were down 19-15 at the last timeout, and they've gone over five minutes without a score. Indiana in the throws of an 11-0 run, and Hoosiers are getting it done at both ends, Bobby. Yeah, they're getting down playing defense, making it tough on the Hawkeyes. The Hawkeyes just 6 of 22 shooting, uh, have made 3 of 9, three-point field goals, but the Hawks for the game are 27% shooting. Conversely, Indiana has uh, come out on fire, 12 of 19, 63%. They're in the middle of that 11-0 run, Gary. Back-to-back-to-back threes. Where? Leal and Leal. 6-0 in bench points favors Indiana. And so Fran McCaffrey goes back to his starters. C.J. Gunn comes into the game for the first time for the Hoosiers. He's guarding Patrick McCaffrey. Perkins, Cricky, Peyton Sanford, Owen Freeman, and Patrick McCaffrey. That's the Iowa Five. Oh, boy, they're covering. They're going after Peyton Sanford. Mark chasing him is Anthony Leal. Now to Perkins in the lane, seven to shoot. Here's McCaffrey to Cricky in the lane. Shot fake, shot blocked by Ware and stolen away by Indiana, taken away by Indiana. That's five block shots by the Hoosiers with 7.28 to go in the first half. Hawks keep throwing it inside, but that big seven-footer is saying, uh -uh, rim. not in my territory. What a find. They got him over here from Oregon, a little NIL money, no doubt. Here's Cups. Another wide open look at a three. And a score. No, in and out. Knocked out of bounds. Touch last by Owen Freeman or Peyton Sanford. Take your pick. So the ball will stay with Indiana. 7 7 to play. And the lead is 30 to 15 for, Indi uh, for Indiana. Hawks need to close out this possession here. Gabe Cups with it. They throw it into the big guys. Seven footer turn shoots. No good, but a foul called on Freeman. And that'll be Gabe's uh, first, or Owen Freeman's first. Khalil Ware steps to the line, a 68% free thrower. This guy looks a lot like Ralph Sampson when Ralph was a youngster at Virginia, and he's playing like him now. Just all over, he's kind of playing a one-man zone, Gary, inside, and going after whenever you post up or you got to go inside. He's coming at you, trying to block the shot and misdirect the... Uh, the shot attempts. They missed him, no doubt. Looks like he palms the basketball and he shoots it. That's big hands. Makes the first free throw. 31-15. That's how you bank him in from three. <laughs> that one is short off the front of the iron. McCaffrey clears. And works to dribble into the front court on C.J. Gunn. Here's Perkins for Peyton Sanford. 6.50 to play. First half, Sanford around a screen, pull up jumper for three, no. Ware with a rebound. Ware's getting everything around that basket now. He's got four boards and a handful of block shots. Drives into Owen Freeman, shots not there. Good job by Owen, mm -hmm. throwing his weight into him. And they bring it back out front. Anthony Leo, top of the circle for Anthony Walker. Back to Leo, here's Gunn. Drives it hard, jump stops in the lane, throws it away. Intended for the seven-footer. Freeman with a steal. Back to Freeman from Cricky. Here's Cricky, near corner, to Peyton Sanford. Peyton gets in the lane, little runner in the lane, no good, but a foul called on Indiana. And two shots coming for Peyton Sanford. Gabe Cups with the uh, bump off stride, and Peyton, good job attacking the basket. He's got to go. Yeah, he'll get two free throws. 
Keep the pressure on him. 31-15. Sanford just under 90% from the foul line. Makes the first. Got seven points. Here comes 6'10 junior Peyton Sparks. Transfer from Ball State. Replacing uh, Khalil Ware. The big body. Yeah, he's defensive tackle there about 260. Xavier Johnson, Xavier Johnson back in the game. Along with Trey Galloway. And they're facing that 1 2 2 press as the Hawks get two free throws out of Peyton Sanford. First points in a long time. 31 17, Indiana. Still six minutes to go, first half. Hit this under 10 by the break. Walker for Xavier Johnson. 6 5 guard, crossover. Cricky and misses the jump shot. Right wing, about 17 feet. Perkins with a clear out for the Hawkeyes. To the trailer, Peyton Sanford. Now to McCaffrey. 5.38 to play in the half. Here's a pass knocked away from Ben Cricky. Nice job by Anthony Walker jumping in the lane there. Brock Harding will come in for his first trip to the floor. One Moline High School star replaces another. Owen Freeman comes out of the game. Okay, we got Okay, we got to get going, Gary. He's been cricky here. 0 for 4, I think, Ben. 0 for 5, Ben, is on the offensive end. Ben gets the inbounds feed, hands off to Peyton. Now to Harding. Brock Harding chased by Johnson. Johnson right in his face. Gets it inside to Cricky. Turn, shoots, and scores. Try to call out of the crawl out of there. Just inside the foul line. Maybe that gets him going. Yeah, absolutely. Brock Harding realizes that found him in there. One-on-one -on -one move. Ben Cricky to follow a 12-footer. Hawks down 12, 31-19. And a deflected pass by Harding out of bounds. We'll keep the ball with Indiana. 5.06 to go. Game started. Uh, both teams hot and on fire. Racing up and down the floor. Then Indiana. Straightened out its defense. Shut out the Hawks for five minutes. Lazy pass inbounds. Almost picked up. Now it is stolen away. Now they're on the floor going after the 50-50 ball. And it is finally brought out of there by Harding of the Hawkeyes. Good job, Brock Harding. He races into the front court, finds McCaffrey. McCaffrey jump shot no good. Oh, man. Patrick took on a double team there. Had no chance to make that shot. Here's Galloway back for Indiana after the rebound by the Hoosiers. 4.40 to play in the half. Hawks yeah. waste a good scoring opportunity there. Down 31-19. Yeah, just 19 points first 16 minutes. Some of that is credited to Indiana's defense, certainly. Here's a step back jumper. Good. Right of the lane by Anthony Walker. Everybody getting into the scoring show here for the Hoosiers. 33-19 Indiana. Perkins. Double team. High post right. Cross court for McCaffrey. Now to Brock Harding. Harding. Always looking to drive and dish. Here he gets into the lane. Shot up. Blocked away. This time by Peyton Sparks. Saw the opening. Just a little late yeah. getting that shot launched. Yeah, because Peyton at 260 pounds. He's not going to get too far off the floor. But he caught up to Brock and swatted it away. Eight on the shot. 4.02 on the game clock. Eight seconds to shoot for the Hawkeyes. Just one field goal in the last long time. McCaffrey for three. That's strong off the mark. Sparks with a rebound. And he leaves it for Xavier Johnson. Iowa now 25%. 7 for 28. Johnson gets in the lane. Forgot to take the dribble with him. <sighs> Tony Perkins peeled it away and almost had the steal but lost it out of bounds. Indiana will have it when play resumes. 347 to go first half. Iowa's deficit is 14 33 19. The Hawks are one of their last 14. At the Gamer at Home, Wimmer's premium quality hot dogs and sausages score with family and friends. Take the highest quality beef and pork, combine it with natural spices, and you get the best tasting hot dog. Wimmer's, the official hot dog of the Iowa Hawkeyes. And now's your chance, gang, to make a difference. Join the swarm and partner with Iowa men's basketball and serving charities throughout eastern Iowa. The Iowa Swarm. Uh, swarm. Learn more at iowaswarm.com. This is Hawkeye Basketball presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. 
Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oakdale is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area. Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today. Back in Bloomington, Indiana, 33, Iowa, 19. Indiana broke away from a four-point lead with an 11-0 run and went up 15. The Hawks have been struggling to get back close. Iowa shooting an ice cold 7 of 28 from the field, just 25%, and 3 of 11 from 3. Hawks going to have to play more defense here with 347 to play first half. Try and get on a little run before the intermission or get some momentum going into the locker room. Indiana basketball. Xavier Johnson with it. Cross court for Galloway. Galloway throws to the wing. Here's a standstill three. Air ball. No good by C.J. Gunn. And grabbed by Brock Harding. Harding brings it down the floor. Now to Cricky. Ben hit a jump shot. Iowa's first field goal a long time, a little bit ago. Here he is with the left of the lane from Peyton Sanford. Cricky turns, shoots, and no good. Had a good look at it. Couldn't talk it down. Gun with a rebound, and he throws it, or almost th- throws it away. Diagonal pass knocked out of bounds by Brock Harding. Gun is going to come out of the game along with CJ or Peyton Sparks. Anthony Walker is back in along with the seven-footer, Khalil Ware, who's got a handful of block shots. Indiana has six block shots here in the first half, most of those belonging to the big fella. He's got it now, high post left. Almost hooked Ben Cricky. Throws to the wing to Johnson. He drives around two Hawkeye defenders, misses the layup, put back good. Put back dunk by Anthony Walker. 35-19. Perkins right back for the Hawkeyes. The corner in a to Peyton Sanford in the corner, and he's knocked down by Trey Galloway. Three free throws coming for Peyton Sanford. So that helps with the clock stop. And Iowa down 16, 239 to go in the first half. Certainly does. Trying to score quick, too. Found Peyton wide open in the left corner. Galloway late. Kind of just bowled him over there, and they cry a little bit, complain, but Peyton to go to the line for three. Peyton hit a couple there a moment ago. Stay tuned for our halftime coverage brought to you by Bud Light. Bud Light, a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. First free throw is good by the junior from Waukee. Hawk fans, if you or someone you know needs support, please call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. 988lifeline.org. Second free throw good by Sanford. Brock Harding is out. Owen Freeman is back in. Price Sanford checks in as well. But Josh Dix has not returned since uh, injuring himself about five, six minutes ago. Sanford gets all three free throws. And the Hawks are back to within 13, 35-22. Needing stops and scores here the rest of the half, Bobby. I'm with you. If you can get this thing down inside of 10 at halftime, uh, get some momentum. Xavier Johnson running the show at the point guard. Throws back behind him to Trey Galloway. 
Cross court for Mbako, who's returned now to Ware, the big center. Ware puts the ball on the floor for Mbako. He hits a standstill 17-footer. Price Sanford went underneath the screen, and that gave Mackenzie Mbako, who's averaging 11 points a game, a wide-open look at a 17-footer. 37-22. Iowa down 15 once again. Price Sanford to Cricky to Payton. Boy, they are really working over Peyton. Cricky's open and misses the jump shot up over the square out of bounds. That's a frustrated mm. Ben Cricky right now. He's looking for answers. Yeah, one for eight is <laughs> Ben right now. Probably the best thing he can do is uh, pass up them jumpers and try to get to the free throw line and get some, a couple of them easy and then get it going. Minute 45 to play till halftime. Indiana in no hurry, up 15, 37-22. Where? Hoosiers spread the floor. The Hawks are man to man. Where to Mbako. Right back to where. Turns, shoots, and banks it in again. Actually lost control of the basketball on the way up and still had enough muscle to bank it in. 39 22 Indiana. Peyton Sanford back gives it to Cricky. Right back to Peyton. Going to his left, splashes a three down. Wow. What a touch. What a touch is right. 14 points. He's got 14 of the Hawk 25. 39-25 Indiana with one minute to play in the first half. Galloway around a screen, throws it away. Tried to give it back to Anthony Walker on a screen and roll. Find Peyton. And picked off by Price Sanford. Here's Perkins all the way. Scores and is fouled. He'll go to the foul line. For the and one. G DJ Karstensen on the call. They're going to get Mbako for his first. That all started with a turnover and a good play at the other end by the Hawkeyes. And freshman uh, Price Sanford digs uh, the ball out on the floor, gets it gets it out and run, and Tony Perkins, as he does so well, attacks, puts his body on Mbako, picks up the foul, the end one, Tony Perkins, chance to pull the Hawkeyes within 11. And it could be a 6-0 run. It is, as Tony, who hasn't missed a free throw in a month and a half, it seems like, brings the Hawks back to within 11. They're down 16 a moment ago. Now down 11, 49 seconds to play till halftime. Get a stop and a score here. And a new game. Keep digging. Keep working. Iowa man to man. Johnson with a dribble over the left side. Goes by Perkins. Throws to the wing. Galloway was open for the three. Didn't make it, but wouldn't have mattered. He stepped on the sideline. Back-to-back -back turnovers by Indiana. Once again, good defense by the Hawkeyes. Forced a wild pass. Galloway couldn't corral it. He was right in front of the Iowa bench. Stepped out of bounds. That's six turnovers on the Hoosiers. Anthony Leo checks back in for Mbako. Likewise, uh, Gabe Cups will come in. And Owen Freeman comes and gets Lodgy Dembele. So the Hawks down 11 with 36 seconds to go. Struggling mightily in the offensive end. Just 9 for 32. But there's a crack in the door. If they get a score here, they're in good shape as good shape as they can be in down yeah. 11 anyway but if they get a score here and they have all the momentum back on their side going into halftime a basket here brings them to within nine and here's a blocking foul on cups that's that's pretty easy to call second foul on the freshman cups indiana has a couple to give here just the fifth team foul Iowa's only committed three fouls in the first half, so they've they've let him play. Terry Oglesby and DJ Karstensen and Bart Lennox, the veteran Big Ten officiating crew here. Price Sanford will inbound to Tony Perkins. Ben Cricky comes back in. As does Owen Freeman. 13 seconds to go till halftime. Perkins and another foul, a grab. Called on Anthony Leo. 10.3 to go till halftime. That's six team fouls now in Indiana. I'm not sure what they were trying to do there by giving two fouls 45 feet from the basket, but foul them again. And we'll shoot free throws. Yeah. Sanford to Perkins. He's guarded by Johnson. Tony's going to take him off the dribble. They're doing a lot of screens. Here's Peyton Sanford. He's going to have to force one up at the buzzer. And in and out, no good. Good job by Indiana guarding the three-point line. But uh, hope for the Hawks. They finish the half on a 6-0 run and get back to within 11. 
39-28. Hawkeye basketball is brought to you by Bud Mary's. Bud Mary's has the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products anywhere in Iowa. And getting a medical card is fast and easy online. Visit BudMary.com and learn more. BudMary.com. 39-28 Indiana at the half. We'll come back for the Bud Light Halftime Show in a minute. This is Hawkeye Basketball, courtesy of Walmart Blue Cross Blue Shield and Learfield. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Oh, oh, coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin. And if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox Home Comfort Specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895 when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown. And Lennox is still building its high efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today for the best home comfort system you can buy. It's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. This has been the well-marked Blue Cross and Blue Shield first half on the Hawkeye Sports Network. This is the Bud Light Halftime Show. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Back at Assembly Hall in Bloomington, Indiana, where the Hoosiers are more than protecting the home court, leading 39-28. Uh, here at the half, but uh, it looks a whole lot better than it did uh, five minutes ago when the Hoosiers are up, well, by as many as 17, but a 6-0 run by the Hawkeyes to conclude the first half uh, has the Hawkeyes uh, with some momentum and some hope uh, get the adjustments made in the locker room and come out and shoot better than, uh, what, 27.3% that first half, 9 for 33 for the Hawkeyes. It's been a while since they shot that poorly. And four of 13 from three. And uh, a pair of those threes came right out of the gate. Peyton Sanford doing his thing. He, he leads Iowa with 14 first half points, uh, but nobody else with more than five. Uh, as at, uh, uh, at the Hoosiers end of the floor, they have been uh, spectacular inside and out. Most of their damage was done in the first 10 or 11 minutes of the first half. Iowa was down 19-15. Not quite midway through the uh, first period. The Hoosiers came out of a timeout. They got a steal, called timeout, and then uh, out of that timeout, uh, went on an 11-0 run in, that included a bank shot from three by the seven-footer, uh, Khalil Ware. Now, he's capable of hitting the three. Uh, that one was uh, a little bit uh, out of nowhere, but he banked it in, and they all count. Indiana, in fact, in the first half, after going 0 for 10 from three against Illinois, last time out, the Hoosiers go 5 of 12 from distance in the first half. 16 for 27, Indiana. That's 59%. The Hoosiers assisted on 12 of 16 made baskets. And they turned Iowa over early. Uh, but then the Hawks settled down. And in the last couple minutes, uh, Iowa, which has uh, four steals in the game, Got two of those back-to-back -back that led to baskets. A three-point shot by Peyton. And then an and one, a score and a free throw for Tony Perkins. And that 6-0 run now has the Hawks back to win the 11 at halftime, 39-28. to 
Our halftime coverage is brought to you by Bud Light. Bud Light, proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Let's check the uh, charity stripe. Not a lot of fouls called. We're a lot, not, I should say not a lot of free throws shot in the first half, only by Peyton Sanford, who got fouled not once but twice while shooting the three. And Peyton has made uh, all five. I guess the one was a two-pointer, I guess. Huh? I thought it was a three-point attempt. Well, no matter. He made all five free throws. Hawks are six for six. They continue their perfect streak at the foul line. Indiana was two of three in the first half. So the Hawkeyes hope to get to that foul line much the way they did the second half at Michigan a lot. That's the Charity Stripe recap, courtesy of Latham High Tech Seeds. The Hawks have a diverse combination of talent, and at Latham High Tech Seeds, you'll find the most diverse portfolio in the industry. Diversify for success at Latham High Tech Seeds. Log on to LathamSeeds.com. Up next, we'll have the High V halftime stat recap. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon. When you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments, your bacon called, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loans subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Join Iowa women's basketball coach Lisa Bluter and Iowa men's basketball coach Fran McCaffrey for Hawk Talk live from the Hyatt Regency in Coralville's Iowa River Landing. Check out the schedule on HawkeyeSports.com. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online, quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Iowa basketball. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Iowa. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the university and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university. Gary Dolphin uh, back at uh, Assembly Hall. Our engineer producer is Corey Sheets. Bobby Hansen's uh, down in the tunnel near the Iowa locker room waiting for the coaches to come out so he can get a report on what uh, went on, what went wrong in that first half. Uh, it starts with shooting. The Hawks just 27%, 9 of 33, 4 of 13 from beyond the uh, arc. Indiana 59%, 16 for 27. Many of those shots inside with the big seven-footer uh, Khalil Ware. The Hoosiers have five three-point goals. Iowa has one less than that. The Hawkeyes have four more free throws. Six for six, Indiana two for three. Indiana led in scoring by the seven-footer Khalil Ware. He's made all five of his shots, 12 total points. Five for five from the field, and uh, three of those have been dunks. Next, it's uh, Mackenzie Mbako. He had a couple big threes early that got Indiana off and running. He's got eight total points. Six for Anthony Leal. Five for Xavier Johnson. Uh, the Hoosiers have outscored Iowa's bench 10 to nothing. Ten bench points to zero in favor of Indiana. And the Hoosiers have eight more or uh, ten more points in the lane. Ten more paint scores. Uh, so they're scoring from in close. High percentage shots and lead it by 11 here at the break. 39 to 28. 
uh, for the Hawkeyes, Peyton Sanford with 14. Five each for Tony Perkins and Josh Dix. Uh, Josh Dix did not play the last five, six minutes of the game. Uh, he hurt himself on a move out on the floor. We'll try and track down what what uh, the problem was there. Owen Freeman trying to battle the tall timber uh, is uh, has just one basket to his credit. And uh, Ben Cricky has really struggled. One for eight and two points. Hopefully the Hawks can get those two going in the second half. Indiana out, rebounded the Hawkeyes 19-16. That's the first half stat recap courtesy of our friends at hy V. Score big savings with the all-new totally free hy V Perks membership. Iowa trails 39-28 as we get set to go to the second half. More Bud Light halftime coverage in just a minute. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. When the game goes into overtime. But. The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Not all internet is created equal. It's a lot like choosing a quarterback. Technically, you could sign up any new rookie provider on the block, but the success of every device in your home depends on it. Will they perform in the clutch, or will they buffer under pressure? Extreme provides the speed you need with a 100% gigabit technology network and amplified Wi-Fi. And unlike signing a quarterback, Extreme Internet requires no contracts. There's only one pick to lead your team. It's Extreme, powered by Mediacom. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga, breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type, with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org cancer. Back at halftime, it's 39-28, Indiana with 11-point lead on the Hawkeyes. Elsewhere on the U.S. Bank scoreboard, not a whole lot this early evening. Uh, Ohio State and Illinois, Illinois in Columbus, leads the Buckeyes 41-34 at the half. Around the country, fifth-ranked Tennessee trails by six to South Carolina in the second half. At halftime, North Carolina, a one-point lead on Georgia Tech. Marquette leads Villanova by eight at the break. Late games include... Uh, K-State hosting Oklahoma and Oklahoma State at Kansas. That's your U.S. Bank scoreboard update. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. 10-second ID break here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. You're listening to Iowa Basketball. Bobby Hansen talks to a Hawkeye assistant coach on that first half. Iowa trails at 39-28. That's coming up next. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Hey, everyone. Chef Brandon here. The Burger Shed features signature handcrafted burgers, real ice cream shakes, and machine shed classics you already know and love, like the award-winning pork tenderloin and smoked turkey Reuben sandwiches, plus everyone's favorite dessert, the apple dumpling. With plenty of big screen TVs and several local beers on draft, Burger Shed is the perfect place to watch your favorite sports team on game day. And every day, burgers, beers, and a whole bunch of BS. Burger Shed, Bass Pro Drive, Altoona. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknall is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. 
Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation, Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. Before we go to the second half, it'll be uh, Iowa basketball. Here's Bobby Hansen with the Hawkeye assistant coach, Sherman Dillard. Coach, other than Peyton Sanford, points are hard to come by here for the Hawkeyes. What's Indiana doing defensively to make it tough? Well, what they're doing is they're picking up our point guard. They're the 10 second line and just guarding them hard, putting a lot of pressure on them. We're not able to initiate the ball where we want to initiate it. We've got to get more movement. We're not screening. We've got to get the big fellow away from the lane, come out instead of run up ball screen. We've been very good at that in, in some of the games before this. Uh, not so much tonight. Sherman Dillard with uh, Bobby Hansen, brought to you by your Iowa John Deere dealers. Hawkeyes with the ball to start the second half. Tony Perkins hits a jump shot right of the lane after a bounce pass was knocked away, nearly stolen away by Mbako. Tony picked it right back and shot it in. That's a good start to the second half. Haw Hawks down 9, 39, 30 to begin the period. Mbako to the seven-footer where he works the dribble in on Owen Freeman. Jump passes to the corner to Galloway. Just underway in the second half. Right back inside to where. Jump shot no good, but a foul called on Freeman. And that is uh, two on Owen. So free throws coming for Khalil Ware. DJ Karstensen explaining the call to Owen Freeman. Second half underway. Sherman Dillard's visit with Bobby Hansen. Brought to you by the great Iowa John Deere dealers like Van Wall Equipment in Hampton. Support your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud supporters of Iowa Hawkeye basketball. Where rattles the first free throw in and out. He's at 68% on the year. Well, the Hawks trying to battle back from being down 17. They're back to within nine. And lots of time remaining. A lot of time left. Uh, one free throw made by Ware right there, Khalil Ware. But the Hawks got to make, uh, make some points on every possession down the court. One minute gone, second half. Here's Tony with a pop-up jumper. High post left, no good. And cleared out by Anthony Walker of Indiana. Hoosiers have Trey Galloway, Mackenzie Mbako, Anthony Walker, Xavier Johnson, and Khalil Ware, the seven foot one, 245-pound center. He works it left of the lane. Freeman giving chase. Try to give it back to Galloway, and it's out of bounds. Touch last by Owen Freeman. Josh Dix, good sign, does start the second half. For yeah, Iowa. real good sign. We need him to get going offensively as well, not just dribble around there. But look, hunt, hunt some shots here, Josh Dix, when you're open. you got to knock him down there. Good defensive play that time by Owen Freeman to knock the ball loose. Yeah. Dix came up lame with about six minutes to go in the half, but he, he's been able to work it off, whatever it is. Indiana basketball with six to shoot. And Baco forces a shot up. Owen Freeman blocks it. And Baco gets it back, lays it up. No good. Rolls off the back of the iron, and it's out of bounds off Iowa. Tough break. Boy, oh, boy. But give Mbako credit. He, he really went after the basketball after the block shot by Freeman. 40 to 30. Indiana's lead is 10. Not quite two minutes gone in the second half. And here's Mbako. What smart play. He throws it off the rim. The rump, the backside of Owen Freeman. Nobody, everybody had their back turned to the baseline, and we've seen that one before. Yeah, play you see every now and then, but you got to have it perf perfectly, and Mbako performed. Peyton Sanford, after the Mbako layup, Peyton Sanford is fouled on a short jump shot attempt by Xavier Johnson. Left of the lane, so Peyton will get two more free throws, and that's good. Sanford 
has made all five of his free ones here tonight. Hawks are back down 12, 42-30. Join the Iowa Lottery VIP Club and enter to win game day tickets to see Iowa men's basketball with the countdown to Carver promotion. Play Hawkeye Gold Scratch tickets today, courtesy of the Iowa Lottery. Josh Dix comes back out of the lineup, so clearly whatever he pulled or sprained or whatever he did to himself in that first half, he's not 100%. He's got to come out of the game. Patrick McCaffrey's in. Thumbs hurting. They're all talking to him. Hopefully it's not anything long-lasting. Here's Indiana with a run out. Nice block from behind by Tony Perkins. Anthony Walker was going in for the dunk. They had the Iowa pressure beat down the floor. Great yeah. recovery by oh, Perkins man, right I there. Guess. Like he a free safety got off the, closing. Got off the floor, too. Desmond King in coverage. Hoosiers back up 12 with the ball. Hawks need a stop. Galloway, cross-court feed, finds Mbako. Shot fake, backs to dribble in on Peyton Sanford. Gets to the basket, shot up no good, but a foul on Peyton. Boy, Indiana is attacking inside. See when they got a little mismatch there, got a little height advantage that time. And Baco on Peyton Sanford just dribbled down, spun to his left, and put his left sh right shoulder on him. Got the contact, and two free throws coming for Mackenzie and Baco. 42-32, Indiana. And Baco makes the first one. 86% free throw. There's not much this 6'8 freshman can't do. Out of Gladstone, New Jersey, Roselle Catholic High School. Second one, no good. Ware goes up over the top of Owen Freeman, but can't hang on to the ball. Patrick McCaffrey rips it away. And into the front court come the Hawks. 17.44 to play in the game. Freeman muscles his way in. Shot blocked away. This time by Anthony Walker. at seven block shots. Seven blocks by Indiana tonight. Hawks are challenging them. They are. Perkins... Comes in left of his own goal. Throws it to Freeman. Back out top for Patrick McCaffrey. Trying to free himself up from Anthony Walker. Gets in the lane. Forces up a jump shot. No good. And rebounded by Indiana's Ware. Hoosiers by 11. 43-32. That was the deficit at halftime. And we played about three minutes here in the second period. Walker, left wing, Mbako. Hawks are walling in around uh, Khalil Ware, and now they get a call. Is that a hold? And a third foul on Owen Freeman. So Owen's picked up two quick ones. And this is just an all-too-familiar pattern for the young man. And he is flustered and frustrated as he comes out of the game. And we'll have to sit for a while. 17-10 to go. Laji Dembele is in for him. He's playing in that middle, giving away a lot of height to the 7-4 center. Here's a foul on Dembele as he, again, uh, out of the uh, zone, uh, Iowa in a zone on that out-of-bounds play. And Xavier Johnson found his seam on that right wing and streaked to the basket. Laji, good hard foul. We'll give him two free throws. Yeah, avoided the uh, three-point play there for Xavier Johnson. Good hard foul by Laji Dembele. He picks up his first, but... There was an opening there in, in that zone. you got to close that thing up out on the perimeter. First free throw on the way for Xavier Johnson is good. Indiana's now starting to get to the foul line. That's their eighth free throw of the night. They've made five. Both teams have shot eight. The Hawks are perfect at the free throw line, eight for eight. One more for Johnson. Takes flight, and it is short off the front of the rim. Peyton Sanford, good wall out of where and gets the rebound. The Hawks limit the damage. Sanford for three at the other end. Good. Mm. Oh, that that gun comes out of the holster in a hurry, doesn't it? Wow. Whoa. Can't even look up, and he's got another one. 19 points and four three-point field goals made for Peyton Sanford. Got to keep finding them. Yeah, nobody else with more than seven for the Hawkeyes. That has to change. 16-40 to play. Iowa back to within nine. 44-35. Peyton with his fourth three of the night. In fact, all four of his field goals are from distance. Indiana with 10 to shoot. Galloway double covered. Ware is open on the baseline. Turns and shoots over Dembele. That's way short. Good job Lodge on defense, defensively. Peyton gets the rebound. Sanford ahead for Perkins. Tony's got to get going. Crossover dribble all the way in. Shot might have been 
blocked from behind by Mbako. Great move by Tony Perkins, just didn't finish the shot. 44-35 Indiana. 16.05 to play in the game. Here's Xavier Johnson stumbling through travel. the lane, and now he's tied up. Sure looked like he traveled. They may have say somebody touched the ball, though, on the dribble. Yeah, they missed it. Yeah, I think they did. I think you're right, Bobby. Time out on the floor. 15.59 to play. It'll be Indiana ball when play resumes. 17 seconds to shoot for the Hoosiers. Hawks showing good fight. Not been able to get any closer than nine to this point. 44-35. One powerhouse lineup, two most valuable players. Honda is the long-range threat with the Accord Hybrid and CRV Hybrid. Always ready to go the distance. Ready to go the distance indeed at your central Midwest Honda dealer. Visit great dealers like Zimmerman, Honda, and Moline and say hi to our buddy Mark Zimmerman. Your Honda dealers all across Iowa. Uh, central Midwest Honda. Great sponsor and proud supporter of Hawkeye basketball. Iowa down 44-35. Early on second half. This is Hawkeye Basketball presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Everyone knows the BBB is the Better Business Bureau, but depending on what you need, it's the Better Plumber Bureau, the Better Auto Mechanic Bureau, the Better Accountant Bureau. That's because the BBB connects people with businesses they can trust. So think of the BBB as the Better Check That Business Out First so you don't get ripped off Bureau. Be smart. Always look for the BBB seal because it's looking out for you. Find a better business anytime at BBB.org. Hey, folks, this is Jeff Grender from The Machine Shed. We're all about comfort food at The Machine Shed. Indulge in our classic fried chicken, which is prepared with our own secret spices. Our try our cattleman sirloin tips featuring certified Angus beef served with our famous mushroom stuffing that has onions and Swiss cheese, all topped with a garlic herb sauce. Come experience the taste of home cooking at the Machine Shed. I-80 and Hickman Road, Urbandale, and I-80 and Northwest Boulevard, Davenport. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online, quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. Welcome back to Hawkeye Basketball from Indiana. Always tough to win here. Iowa swept the series last year. Trailing now 44-35. Four minutes deep in the second half. This is the only regular season meeting between Iowa and Indiana. The Hoosiers inbound the ball. Jump shot no good by Mbako. Peyton clears. Sanford doing a good job on the backboards to Perkins. Tony drives it all the way in deep. Now back to the wing and Patrick McCaffrey. Peyton for three more. <laughs> Splash down. Wow. Blast off. Peyton Sanford, he can feel it. 22 points, five three-point goals, and seven free throws for Peyton Sanford. He is in his own, Gary. Coming off a career-high matching 26 at Michigan. Here's a three. Galloway trying to match it. No good. Ware up over the top of Sanford for the rebound. Here's a three. No good. Rebound, Laji Dembele. Mbako missing the three. Indiana settling for threes now. And the Hawks doing a good job rebounding it. Hawks back to within six. A basket here, and the Hoosiers might start going, uh-oh. Here's Perkins. 12 to shoot. Cricky, he needs to drop one down. Oh. In and out, no good. Had a great look at it. Dembele hustles for the rebound. Peyton for three. No good. That one missed everything. He rushed that. Heat check. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, the crowd was waiting for one of those. That's all right. We'll take the 22 that he's yeah. made. <laughs> he's Five for nine more. from the field. All from three. And Iowa's back. Come back from 17 to within six. 44-38. Johnson turns the corner. D up. To Galloway, top of the circle. Rifles a pass inside. Here's a pass fake. Jump hook, no good. Sanford with a rebound. Boy, the Indiana can't hit the side of a barn right now. Perkins, crossover dribble, gets inside. Count and it. a foul called. And they're going to count it. They're going to count the shot. 
pinned against the glass by, I think, the seven-footer wear. Mm -hmm. And look at this, 44-40 with a free throw coming. And the and one for Peyton, or for uh, Tony Perkins. They're going to double check, review it just to make sure there was goaltending. With 14.28 to go, all plays under review this year, sponsored by Athletico. Physical therapy is the thing you're told to do after medication, x rays, or surgery. But what if the best way to fix your pain is to start where you normally finish? The sooner you start with physical therapy, you change everything. It all starts with no prescription needed at Athletico. We do not have the benefit of review here. Oh, yeah, now we do. We look at the big scoreboard, and it actually was Galloway that slapped it off the square. So that's easy, and the Hawks are back to within four. You know, Indiana's gotten kooky in their offensive end, Bobby, some of the shot selections. Yeah, well, we'll take it. But wow. you got to yeah. credit the Hawkeye defense, Gary, with stiffening up there and getting after them and making it tough, keeping them on the outside and rebounding the ball. Peyton Sanford with five rebounds to go with his uh, 22 points. Free throw is good. It's 44-41. The Hawks on a 10-0 run. Indiana with an 11-0 run in the first half. Got up 15 and then 17. And the never say die black and gold are right back in it. One possession down. 14-12 to play. Indiana basketball. Xavier Johnson to Galloway. Now top of the circle for there's a pass poked away, intended for the seven-footer. And I think it was Lodgy Dembele or Tony Perkins who reached in there and pried it away. Turnover, Indiana. Hawks could tie it with a three. Cricky, left wing. Leaves it for Tony Perkins. Perkins has the taller Anthony Walker on him. Step back jump shot by Tony is short. Cricky with a big offensive rebound. Hooks the pass to McCaffrey. McCaffrey thought about a three. Instead, jump passes to Dembele in the corner. Hawks have 12 to shoot. No hurry. Perkins with the ball. Now to Cricky. Cricky struggling with his shooting. One for nine. Gives it to Peyton Sanford. Look out. Here comes a three. And that's short. Peyton got knocked off stride as Cricky tried to set a screen for him. Indiana gets a stop. Xavier Johnson back for the Hoosiers. Left side. Now they swing it into the corner to Galloway. Galloway around a screen. Drives inside. Hits the running hook. Nice screen by Anthony Walker. Freed up Trey Galloway. He's got four points. Iowa back down five, 46-41. Dembele for McCaffrey. He double-clutched on a couple threes that he had. Good looks. Here's Cricky popping up with a jump shot. No good. High post left. Ben Cricky's struggles continue from the field. One for nine. It's the first time we've seen him struggle like this all season. Here's a pass into the corner. Now to the wing. Johnson for three. It's good. Great ball movement, especially by Anthony Leal. Just like that, Indiana back up eight. Perkins gets inside, scores off the glass. He just bowled his way, bulldozered his way through the lane. <laughs> Tony Perkins, he is a warrior, man. This kid is not going to quit. going to keep coming at you. Bullied his way. There's another B Bully for ball. you. <laughs> Bully yeah. ball, Hanson calls it. 49-43. Here's a jump pass stolen away by Perkins. Ripped it away from the seven-footer and a foul on Johnson as the Hawks had their running game going. Xavier Johnson stopped Tony. Tony's claiming it was intentional. And on Indiana, obviously unintentional. That's three team fouls on the Hoosiers, and they're going to look. Take a time and double check. Indiana coaching staff not happy, but they're going to take a look at it. DJ Karstensen, the lead official. He and Terry Oglesby will. Come to the scorer's table to make sure nothing too intentional. I'm with Bobby. He grabbed him, bear grabbed hugged him. him. Uh, Tony was on his way for a layup at half court. 12-11 to go in the game. This is a an official's timeout, full timeout. So we'll step out and come back with, with the verdict in just a minute. Hawkeye basketball is sponsored by Wellmark. The proud moments, exciting moments, the hard moments. Wellmark, Blue Cross, and Blue Shield is here for it. Uh, all as your health care champion. Making health care more affordable with more choices for care and peace of mind no matter what comes your way. Find the plan right for you at wellmark.com slash hoops. Wellmark. The Hawks down only six. Looking a whole lot better than it did earlier in the game. This is Hawkeye Basketball presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at hy V. 
That's not a sale price. That's the price with the hy V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the hy V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop. And count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for hy V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Right now, you are not in the crowded Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. You're not cheering a Hawkeye steal, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. This year, we considered hiring an ad agency to help with our marketing. They pitched impressive visuals and a script that was inspiring. And exotic animal mascots to help grab your attention. In the end, we just decided to tell it to you straight. Shelter Insurance has award-winning customer service at affordable rates. Plus, our local agents are there to help you understand what coverage you need. To find an agent near you, visit shelterinsurance.com and switch today. Iowa back to within six. They have been as close as three here in the second half. 12-11 to go. 49-43. Hoosiers. What has become a, a, a tussle, a wrestling match between these two, especially inside. And the Hawkeyes have now turned the Hoosier, Hoosiers over eight times. Iowa just two turnovers. And that could loom large as this game presses on. Speaking of wrestling matches, you folks in northwest Iowa in the Sioux Falls area, Get out there and support the Hawkeye women. And tomorrow night, Hawks head to Sioux Falls, South Dakota for a midweek duel against the University of Sioux Falls Cougars. Competition in the Stewart Center starts at 6 o'clock tomorrow night. Tony Perkins, it was a common foul on the Athletico Review. Not an intentional foul, so the Hawks will keep the ball. Josh Dix has come back in. And he uh, hurt himself in that first half. Started the second half, but went for about two minutes and then had to come out again. So hopefully Brad Floyd's got fixed whatever needed to be fixed. And Josh is in the game. He joins Dembele, Perkins, Peyton Sanford, and Brock Harding. Hawks go guard heavy here. So Tony will switch to a big guard. Josh Dix to a small forward. Peyton Sanford and Lodgy Dembele inside. Here's a backdoor cut. Layup good by Sanford. Great pass by Brock Harding. Really good find that time, but an excellent movement without the basketball. Peyton Sanford, his first two-point field goal of the night. He's another, got 24. Another Fran McCaffrey luncheon special there. Out of the timeout. 11.40 to play. Hawks again back to within four of the Hoosiers. Johnson runs his man into a couple screens, throws cross-court to Trey Galloway. Back to Xavier Johnson. Hit a big three. He's going to try it again. This one's well short. Good defense, Brock Harding. Sanford with his sixth rebound. Brings it down for the Hawkeyes. Here's Perkins. High post right. Step back jumper. Good over Anthony Leo. Wow. I Here mean, Leo, Hawks. Leo buckled. He fell to the floor off that move by Perkins. That crossover dribble move. Hey, it's a two-point game, Hawk fans. 49-47 Indiana. Oh. Under 11 minutes to play in the game. And a foul on... Josh Dix off the ball. Actually, they're going to get Laji Dembele with a pretty hard foul as the player ran through there. They're going to see if there was anything flagrant. Oh, they got Dembele. All yeah. right. I, D Josh Dix had the look of frustration on his face. All, re all replays are courtesy of Atletico. I Just did not see two, Dembele. Yeah, two players kind of ran into each other. Well, let's see if they show it on the big screen. They showed it once and we missed it well it gives us a chance to plug some of our good sponsors on the Hawkeye radio network like Wimmers meets nothing goes better with Hawkeye sports than Wimmers hot dogs and sausages Wimmers delivers the home game experience to your family and friends Wimmers the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes Common foul. Common foul. Like you said, two players ran into each other. Of course, the student body. 
<laughs> One of the more whinier groups in the league. Any whistle that goes Something doesn't go red. their way. Red and whining. <laughs> Galloway will inbound. Indiana with the foul. A clock Shot clock resets to 20. Xavier Johnson. They're looking inside for the big guy. Only the big guy this time is Peyton Sparks. Ware is out of there. Johnson throws to the corner to Galloway. Out top for Cups, who's into the game. Three to shoot. Johnson runs into the lane, throws it up in and out. No good. Got a good look at a little floater. Dembele clears. Here's Perkins all the way to the basket. A score and a foul. What a play. What a move by Tony Perkins. And now he's giving it to the IU student body. He should be. That was a full head of steam move. Nobody's stopping Tony Perkins when he's running downhill like that. Back-to-back drives by Tony Perkins. And he can tie, or it is tie a game. It was 49-47. Now Perkins can give Iowa's first, get Iowa the first lead they've had, the Hawks, since the opening minute. 10.37 to go in the game. Well, you knew Tony Perkins, he struggled scoring. They were identifying him, knocking him around in the first half. But you knew he was going to come on eventually, and he has. He really has here at the 10.37 uh, mark. It's all Tony Perkins, and oh, he missed the free throw. Now, that's the first miss he's had in a long time. But the Hawks have made it a new game. Fran McCaffrey likes this lineup he has on the floor now. The big seven-footer aware comes on. Here's a drive and a score down the right side of the lane by Galloway. Hawks were sagging in on Khalil Ware, and Galloway had a free run to the basket. 51-49 Indiana. Perkins around Galloway again, gets inside, and a shot blocked from behind by Ware, by Khalil Ware. Tony claiming he was held. 17 to shoot. Iowa will have the ball underneath, I believe, yes, underneath left of the square. Brock Harding gets it into Dembele. Brock drives into the paint. Nowhere to go. Looks for help. Gets it to Peyton Sanford. Peyton all the way to the basket. Lobs it up. No good. Gets the rebound. Up. No good. But a foul. And it's going to be on where. Got him on the side of the face. And Peyton Sanford will shoot free throws. Good hustle by the Hawks. Stayed with it. Got the foul on where. Peyton's got some watery eyes there as he uh, towels up. Hmm. Getting heated. Well, they're saying it was not a shooting foul. Hmm. Just on the rebound? Yeah, where's first? Apparently he was flat-footed on the floor. So it'll be Iowa ball out of bounds. Peyton's still favoring that left eye, squinting a lot. And it comes to Dembele. Now to Sanford. He's had a big night. Tony Perkins. In the corner, pushes up a jump shot. Good. That lob on the 17-footer, that rainbow jumper, ties it at 51. Threw that one over the top of the 7-footer. Khalil Ware, Tony now, 18 points, 13 of them in the second half. Gabe Cups with the ball for Indiana. Both teams have used their bench liberally tonight. Here's a pass into the corner and a blocking foul on Brock Harding. That'll be Iowa's sixth team foul. Indiana's committed five. First one on Harding. 9.32 to go. Indiana will play it in right of the goal. Galloway looking for the seven-footer. Hawks cover him up nicely, though, and out top it comes for Anthony Leo. Johnson, left wing Galloway. High post left for Ware. Back to Galloway. Weak side pass for Cups. There's a baseline drive by Leo, and he lays it up and in. I don't know what uh, Dembele was doing. Lodge just backed off him. And let him drive right to the basket. Indiana back in front by two. Here's Perkins. Weaving down the left side of the lane. Out front for Dix. Josh gets a screen from Dembele. Throws it to Lodgy. He throws up a jump shot. No chance. High post right jumper. Clangs off the back of the iron in the glass. And Indiana with a rebound. And a bad pass. Bad pass thrown by, I think, uh, Indiana's Galloway. The Hawks get a score on a run out, a layup by Dix, and a free throw coming. Tie game at 53. Here comes that Iowa run game. Yeah, I got the running game going there with good defense at the start over here, Gary, on the defensive end. And then the run out, Indiana's tugging at the shorts. They're tired. All started with Indiana's ninth turnover of the game. And Dix with a 91% conversion rate at the free throw line. 
can give Iowa the lead for the first time since the opening minute. 53 all. The Hawks have come from 17 back. To the verge of regaining advantage. 53 all. Dix. Free throw is good. Right through. Looking into that crazy student body. Hawks are on top. 54-53 with 8.40 to play. Now the 1-2-2 zone press. Galloway, who turned it over a moment ago, does it again. Threw it over the top. Missed the target. Mbato. Mbako, that is. Freeman with the steal. Now the Hawks with the ball and a one-point lead. Tony Freeman. Around a Freeman screen. Gets deep left baseline. Step back jumper. No good. Oh. Took a good look. Galloway with a rebound. Indiana running the other way. To Johnson. Throws it into the corner. Mbako for three. No good. Rebound tipped. Uncontrollable for Owen Freeman. And Indiana gets the ball back. Owen couldn't quite reach it. And he tipped it right to Xavier Johnson. And now a throwaway by Galloway. Back-to-back throwaways by Trey Galloway. Here's Harding into the front court. And he's grabbed by Johnson. Indiana really ragged right Tired. now. The yeah. Hawkeyes are taking it to him. That's three fouls on Johnson. Timeout on the floor with 7.56 to play in the game. The Hawks are shooting the one-and-one one when we come back to Bloomington. Hey, don't settle for ordinary with your company's apparel say hello to a new standard of style known as authentic brand it's not just a label it's a lifestyle from sleek office essentials to laid back everyday wear authentic brand is a label for you bobby and i are wearing our authentic brand here tonight at assembly hall in bloomington the hawks with a 54 53 lead have the basketball and 7.56 to play. This is Hawkeye Basketball, presented by Wellmark, Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited. We provide experiential travel and vacation planning for Hawkeye fans across the state. Contact one of our destination experts to start planning your next trip at duagency.com. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon call, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See Credit Union for details. Do you trust your insurance agent? Do you trust your insurance company? Well, you'd better. Because all they've really sold you is a promise. A promise to be there when things go bad. To step up and put everything back the way it was. So, if you don't trust your insurance company, maybe it's time to find one you do trust. West Bend. The worst brings out our best. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. Getting out of crunch time. A little less than eight minutes to go. The Hawkeyes have crunched Indiana here in the second half, outscoring the Hoosiers by 12. Iowa trailed by 11 at the break. Now back in front, 54-53. Hawks have trailed by as many as 17. But with this offense that Iowa runs, and you're the defending team, you better not ever close your eyes. High-powered offense. They're going to get you up and down. The key, Gary, will be defense. Can the Hawkeyes continue to stop them and continue to rebound? Uh, rebound number pretty equal right now, 32-28. Hawks have six more points off turnovers. They've turned Indiana over 11 times. Iowa, two turnovers. And now Brock Harding at the line to shoot the one-and-one. 75% one. in his freshman year from the charity stripe. Free throw's good. They hand him the ball, and it's gone. He does, he does everything no, fast, man. doesn't he? Quick twitch. 55-53. Hawks go up two. One more coming for Brock Harding. The second one's always easier when that first one goes in. And Iowa's lead is three, 56-53 with 7.50 to play. Mark that moment right here. Back-to-back -back Indiana turnovers. See how they've settled down. 
Johnson's trapped along the sideline. Knocked away from him. Finally gets rid of the ball to Galloway and inside to the seven-footer who dunks it. And then Freeman fouls him. Oh, boy. Owen, Owen. Man, they had Johnson all tied up on the timeline, Bobby, and trapped on the oh, sideline. And somehow he got it away to Galloway, who immediately saw the seven-footer open inside. He dunked it through. 56-55 Iowa. Yeah, that's a fourth foul on Owen. They got to let him go on that one. Yeah, just forget about it. Give it up. Tough night for Owen and for Ben Crickey. Crickey, one for nine. Owen has just two points, the Big Ten freshman of the week. Now Ware can tie it at 56. Free throw is good. So the and one for Ware. He's a little gimpy as he heads down the floor. He just came back after missing two games. Perkins and Johnson getting after each other in a tie game at 56. Tony, high post right, holds up. Cross-court feed for Harding. Cricky back in the game now for the Hawks. He sets a screen on Galloway. Here's Harding, a lean in, shot off the square and good. Brock Harding wanted to give it up uh, to uh, Cricky on the screen and roll, but Ben was all covered up, so he, he went underneath the seven-footer's armpit. Didn't know where he went right there, but <laughs> nice play by the freshman Brock Harding. He never gives up on a play. Disappeared and came out the other side. 58-56 Iowa. Here's a three from the corner. Good. Anthony Leal averages two points a game and he puts Indiana back in front. He's got four field goals, three of them three. He's got 11 total. Off the bench. Wow. He's been a difference maker. 59 58, Indiana with a one point lead. Harding for three in the lead back. Air ball. Well, he got a great screen from Perkins. Had a good look at it, just short stringed it. 59-58, Indiana's lead is one. Six and a half to go in the game. Anthony Leal, where did this guy come from? Bloomington, Indiana, a senior from Bloomington South. He was buried on the bench, though, Gary. Yeah, big night for him. He's got the ball left wing. Sanford chasing him around. Here's Johnson to Leal. Three more on the way, no good. And Josh Dix is held by Mbako. Josh tried to one-arm rebound it. The other one was tied up by Mbako, and that's two fouls on Mbako. So Josh Dix, he's the guy you want at the line, 91%. And he could put Iowa back in front. 59-58. Hawkeye basketball is sponsored by Gromark. If you're looking for bigger, bolder, better yields, FS Envision Seed Corn and FS High Soy Soybeans are here to change the game. Our seed products deliver winning results every single time. Reach out to your local FS retailer or visit fsc.com to learn more. Oh, and Dix misses the front end of the one and one. Ouch. Iowa 12 of 13 from the foul line until that miss. A rare miss by Josh Dix. Indiana spreads the floor with a rebound. The Hawks still down one. 59 58, 550 to play. Galloway. Flips it into the corner for Mbako. A three in and out, no good, but a foul called. And who are they going to get this one on? It's on the Hawkeyes. Ben. Ben Cricky with the shove, says Terry Oglesby. Now Ware comes up lame. Came down on that bad ankle, awkward. 5.43 to go. 59-58. And a timeout asked for by Indiana. Going to let Ware try and walk that uh, injured ankle off. So there's a timeout on the floor. We'll step out and do the same. We're heading for a, a wild finish here in Bloomington. Indiana 59, the Hawkeyes 58. This is Hawkeye basketball presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. 
That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bowes, pediatric neurologist with the University of Iowa Healthcare. Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. Learn more at uihc.org. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash corn grows Iowa. All right, the hands get on your feet, make some noise. Hawkeyes in Indiana hooked up in a honey, 59-58. Indiana led by 17 with just under two minutes to go in the first half. The Hawks close the first half on a 6-0 run to the trail at 11 by 11 at the break. Finally grabbed the lead off back-to-back -back Indiana turnovers and terrific Iowa defense. Tony Perkins has caught fire here in the second half. Peyton Sanford had 14 at halftime. He's got 24 for the game within a basket of his career high and leads Iowa with seven rebounds. Now they've they've marked Peyton here the last few minutes though, Bobby. They're going to they're going to bet on the other Hawkeyes not to beat him, and they're not going to let Peyton Sanford beat him. Yeah, they're going to have Tony Perkins going to have the ball in his hands. He'll be getting downhill inside. We need Ben Cricky to get a couple of baskets in here, just one for nine uh, for the game, but uh, he's always capable of coming alive. But uh, I'll take my chances with Peyton Sanford. And he's a big shot maker in, in, in and, big moments. And Tony Perkins, who has got it, going, got it going here in the second half. He's got 18 total points. Now where the seven-footer shoots the one-and-one. Three of five from the free throw line makes the first. Indiana back up two, 60-58 after that foul on Ben Cricky. Second free throw, no good. Crawls off the front of the iron after it went to the glass. Hawks down two. Perkins with the ball. Here's a foul to hold on Mbako. And that's good. That puts Josh Dix back at the free throw line. Three fouls on Mbako. If you or someone you know needs support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. But Josh Dix, who missed his first free throw in a while at the line a moment ago, Iowa 12 for 14 at the foul line. This is where they can win it. Makes the first. It's nine for Dix. Right where he's been averaging in Big Ten play. Been solid. He can tie the game at 60. And does. Josh in double figures. A sixth tie of the game. Four lead changes. Hawks with a 1-2-2 two, two press. Dix at the front. Here's Leo who's been a spark plug. Four three-point goals for Indiana. And he averages two points a game. Off the bench. Big. He's been big. Here's Mbako in the near corner. Peyton Sanford daring him to shoot. Puts it on the floor, drives in on Peyton. Runs into a double team, misses the shot. Ware with a rebound up and in. Hawks just have no answer for him. and Most teams don't when you're battling a 7-foot-1 guy and your biggest guy is 6'7". Here's Dix. Peyton for three. No good. He rushed, rushed that shot. Indiana by two now with the ball. 62-60, 4.50 to go. Galloway walks it across the midcourt stripe. Turns the corner, high post right to Mbako. Shot fake, drives left of the lane. Step back jumper, no good. Gets his own rebound. Back up and no good. Ware with a reach and a rebound. Up, no good. But a foul called on Cricky. What are you going to do? He just so tall, so long inside that you try to block him out and he just reaches over the top. And he's got that long arm reach where he avoids contact. And Baco missed two shots. Hawks fighting their guts out defensively, but when you got a guy that big and your tallest man is 6'7, it's 
tough. First free throw is good by Ware. And Ware came into tonight's game 68%. And here he is, 5 of 8 from the free throw line. 63-60, Indiana back in front by 3. One more free throw coming for Khalil Ware. Transfer from Oregon. Makes them both. Wow. Clutch free throw shooting. Now the Hoosiers edge away by four again. 64-60. Tony Perkins. Here's a backdoor cut by Dix. Got the ball but didn't have a shot. Peyton Sanford. Double screen for him. Step back jumper. Way short. They're really going after Peyton. Tough shot over the seven-footer. Sure was. Six for 13 now is Sanford. Five of 11 from three. And the Hoosiers spread the floor. Leo for Galloway to the wing, into the corner. Cups, eight to shoot, 350 to play in the game. Indiana by six. Hawks need a stop. Cups stumbles through the lane, hooks it to the seven footer, up with a shot, no good. Sanford clears. Tony Perkins. Wow, a long pass and a score by Owen Freeman. And the whistle, I don't think there's a foul, but a, a goaltending is the call. What a pass. Was that Perkins? It's on the money. Through that Just pass. Tony Perkins. Half Bad. court to uh, Owen Freeman running the floor. Which you're going to enjoy seeing that big guy do over the next several years. Flipped it up there because he knew the seven-footer was coming. Got the goaltending call, but the ball went through anyway. Timeout on the floor. 3.40 to go in the game. Iowa trails by two. 64-62. Throughout the Iowa Corn Cyhawk Series, Iowa Corn promotes values that are uniquely Iowan. On behalf of our Hawkeye State corn farmers, we salute all athletes for their hard work and determination to be the best both on and off the field. Just like our athletes, our state leads the nation in corn and ethanol production. Follow Iowa Corn on Facebook and learn how corn grows Iowa. This is Hawkeye Basketball presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox Home Comfort Specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Iowa basketball. Back and forth we go. The Hawkeyes and the Hoosiers have played through six ties and four lead changes. Iowa down 17 in the first half. Battle back to take the lead right now. Indiana has the lead at 64-62. Owen Freeman's layup. Big Indiana basketball now off the Iowa score. Iowa's defense has held Indiana to one of its last seven from the field. Both teams really struggling. Bobby, they played at an unbelievable pace. Unbelievable pace and tight defense by both teams. Evidence the score, 64-62. Indiana basketball, the Hawks put on the full court, 1-2-2. Two, two. Tony Perkins chasing Xavier Johnson. Here's Galloway. He settled down after his back-to-back -back turnovers. Wouldn't mind seeing a couple more. Turns the corner, gets inside on Tony Perkins, throws up a shot, no good, and a foul called on Dembele. 
as, again, Dembele had Ware blocked out beautifully. Ware just reached right over the top, grabbed the basketball, and Dembele commits the foul. Sends Ware to the free throw line for two more. Owen Freeman at the bench to come in. Tenth team foul on Iowa. The next foul on Indiana is team foul 10. Free throw by Ware is no good. Well, he's got to be getting tired. <laughs> All those free throws. <laughs> Hadn't played in a couple games. No. That's his 10th free throw. He look comfortable up there. He's made six. Dembele is out of the game. And Patrick McCaffrey comes back in. 3.15 to go. We'll keep an eye on the clock. 64-62 Indiana. Second free throw, no good. It turns out to be a good foul. <laughs> good foul, Laji. Now Perkins trots into the front court with a basketball. The screen from Sanford. Tony all the way, and he's run into by Johnson. That'll be his fourth foul. Tony Perkins will get a couple of free ones. It's a new season at Kohl's. Find fresh everyday styles for you and your home at great prices. Shop Kohl's and Kohl's.com today. 3.06 to go. How about the heady play by the senior? Tony Perkins knows that they're going to call a foul. Just get ahead of steam. Running downhill there and throws his body into Xavier Johnson. Yeah, Two free throws. Trading paint with Xavier Johnson. Tony's free throw no good. Chance to tie it, but now all he can do is bring Iowa back to within one. Perkins 2 of 4 from the foul line. He's got 18 points. Eight field goals. Four rebounds. Three assists. Another great floor game for TP. Second one looks good and is good. 64-63, Indiana. Iowa 14 of 15 of 18 from the free throw line. Uh, the 1-2-2 soft pressure falls off. Here's Johnson, drives it in deep, and reverses back out top with a dribble of Trey Galloway's. The Hoosiers spread the floor, running a lot of screens out top. Screen and roll. Mbako, left wing. Peyton Sanford has his cup him covered up with seven to shoot. Mbako gets around him in the lane. Shot blocked from behind by Perkins. Rebounded by Leal. Throws it up. No good. And it's out of bounds to Iowa. Shot clock went off as Leal let the shot go. Tony Perkins came double team and clawed the ball away from behind. He's everywhere, man. He just wants this game. He's playing on sheer desire. There he is. I give him the basketball and let him take it to the hoop. Hawks shoot for the lead. Down 64. 63, 2.32 to play. Perkins, again a screen, high post screen from Sanford. Now he's got Leo one-on-one. -on -one. Drives in the lane and is fouled by Leo. Count it. Oh, they're going to count the uh, shot. The block by Ware. Terry Oglesby said the ball was on its downward flight. It was a continuation play, would have been an and one, and the Hawks are in the lead, 65-64. We'll have an Atletico review, but the Hawks are in the lead, at least for the moment. Tony Perkins fouled by Leo as he let the shot go. And where the big fella, the seven-footer, swatted it away. You know, he heard the whistle. You just got to get away from the basketball at that point. Don't do anything. Especially if he thought it came before the shot was. He goes after everything. He does. So that's what you want. What am I talking about? That's what you want in your seven-foot center. So they'll review it and hold the phone on the goaltending call. Close. For Iowa in the third one. Iowa is in the lead at the moment, 65-64. Well, our student managers have done a great job tonight, haven't they? Uh, running those chairs out. They do a great job every night. They do a great job with us on the road, thanks to Jackson McLaughlin, a senior from Pleasant Valley. Jack Brantz out of Iowa City. Colby Calvert, a sophomore from Huxley. Yu Wang out of Beijing, China. Austin Holtz from Correctionville. Now they're going to count the basket. Iowa's in the lead, 65-64. And a free throw coming for Tony Perkins. Colin Rickardson, a junior from Cedar Rapids. Max Alwis out of Sheridan. Matt Bolin, or Boylan, excuse me, sophomore from Glenview, Illinois. Drew Carpenter from Johnston. And Ben Sheridan, the leader of the pack, Ben from West Des Moines. Tony's and one is good. 
Iowa up two, 66-64. Now you got to dig in there D defensively. The Hawks can slow them up with the 1-2-2. Two, two and... Look out. Anthony Johnson went in for a dunk as he drove around Josh Dix. And a hard foul given by Lodgy Dembele. That'll be his fourth. Boy, Johnson drove right around Josh Dix. Had a wide open lane to the basket. Instead of laying it up and in, he decided to try the dunk. And you right in Lodgy Dembele's face. Damn. And Lodgy, a hard foul prevented the dunk. And we didn't see. We didn't see where. Uh, how Johnson landed on the floor. I didn't see anyway. I think he hit his hand on the rim. Maybe he landed on, on his uh, hand. Oh, no, he's holding his ankle, it appears, his left ankle. So he landed awkward. Maybe he, ho he hurt both hurt. the hand uh, and the ankle. Well, while they tend to uh, Xavier Johnson, the former Pitt Panther, let's step out for a 10-second station identification. 2-12 remain, uh, remains in the game. Iowa's in the lead, 66-64. Indiana will be shooting free throws. When play resumes, 10-second ID break. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Basketball. In Burlington, you're hearing the Hawks on KBUR Radio in Iowa Falls, KIFG. In Seneca, Wisconsin, WPRE 101.3 FM. In Wakan, KDHK 99.1 FM, and out in Sioux City, longtime affiliate KSCJ AM and FM. Xavier Johnson up and gimping to the bench. So they'll have uh, Trey Galloway, it appears, shoot free throws in Johnson's absence. Johnson 71%, Galloway. A 50% free thrower. Now, Iowa gets to pick the free throw shooter, correct? In this situation? In the NBA, they do. I know. I thought it was the same in college. In college. Well, they pick the 50% shooter. <laughs> I'm guessing they do. Good choice. But Galloway oh. hits the first one, naturally. 66-65 Iowa. Dembele comes out of the game. Owen Freeman is back in. They've been switching almost every possession. Indiana, 10 of 17 from the foul line. Second free throw is good, so give Galloway credit. Stepped up there and knocked him down. Now we're tied. 66 all. Two minutes, five seconds to go in regulation. Perkins are out of screen by Freeman. High post left. Backs to dribble out. Jump passes to Freeman, who made the catch inside. And as he was going up for the shot, it's blocked away or punched away by Galloway. They were double teaming Galloway. And now we have another Athletico review. Inside two minutes, I believe they can take a look when it's a who knocked it out. 155 to go in the game. Both teams are shooting the double bonus. Hawkeye basketball is sponsored by Bud and Mary's. Bud and Mary's has the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. And getting a medical card is fast and easy online. Visit BudMary.com and learn more. Bud Mary. Thanks to all of our Iowa Hawkeye sponsors tonight and throughout the season. It'll be Iowa basketball. Hawkeye women are at Northwestern tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Welsh Ryan Arena sold out naturally. You can hear the call on the Hawkeye Radio Network with Rob Brooks and Katherine Reynolds. Perkins, Sanford, Freeman, Patrick McCaffrey, and Tony Perkins lobs into Owen Freeman. Is it right back to Tony? Hawks have nine to shoot. No new shot clock here. Perkins, double screen, has the ball pried away and out of bounds. Now 2.9 or three seconds to get a shot off. And the Hawks will inbound it right in front of the Iowa bench. And three timeouts. Time Hawks will take one. So the Hawks will call a timeout with 2.9 on the shot clock. 145 on the game clock. 
The Hawkeye gymnasts are home this Sunday, February 4th, 1 o'clock, at Extreme Arena in Coralville. Coach Libby with another outstanding squad this year, ranked 20th. Tickets, adults 14, ages 18 and under, get in free. Come on out and watch the Hawkeye gymnasts, nationally ranked Iowa gymnasts Sunday. Uh, home meet at Extre the beautiful Extreme Arena in Coralville. Well, that's a busy place this week with the uh, state women's uh, wrestling championships, the, uh, the boys' uh, dual championships, and gymnastics on Sunday. 2.9 on the shot clock. You can bet Fran McCaffrey was stressing that in the timeout. Oh, yeah, they know. They know what they got. I look for Tony Perkins to, uh, for Peyton Sanford to zipper cut up from the baseline. Tony Perkins screen, step to the basketball. One of those two guys will get it. McCaffrey will inbound for the Hawkeyes. Peyton Sanford, Tony Perkins, Josh Dixon, Owen Freeman on the floor. And Baco jumping in front of McCaffrey. He's now warned. Here's McCaffrey. Backdoor lob to Sanford. His three. God. Wow. How about that shot? Joe Wieskamp at Rutgers. And naturally, another whistle stoppage while we check to see if it's a two or a three. What a play. How about that shot? Yeah, what a play drawn up, though. Misdirection way across the court, Gary. Patrick threw that lob over the top to the corner. Peyton, as soon as he caught it, up with the shot. They're going to call it a two for right now, but we'll take a look. A new career high either way for Peyton Sanford. 27 points, minute 40 to play, 68-66, Iowa. So apparently they called it a two initially, and they're yeah. checking to make sure it's not a three. Well, it looked like a three from, well, it did. We were standing here, people in front of us. He didn't use this, this, the uh, bank board to, <laughs> to carry him it in, same though, from spot, deep though. in the corner. Yeah, same spot as Wies Camp at Rutgers. Well, either way, the Hawkeyes have the lead. The call was a two. So Whether it it's a two or three, driving. yes. Well, they should be able to tell, I would think. Boy, what a pass by McCaffrey, though. You're Great right. Pass by Over Patrick. the entire ten men on the floor, or nine men on the floor, except for Peyton Sanford. Catch and shoot. Catch and release. Boy, there's not a prettier jump shot in the league than that. Mm -mm. Seven for 15 from the floor. Five three-point goals. And Sanford's made all seven of his free throws. And he's Iowa's leading board man at eight. Playing on with a purpose, man. Playing on a mission. Minute 40 to go. Now the Hawkeye defense needs to do its part. Well, they're taking a long time to look at it, Bobby. It, it obviously is close. Close, yeah. Is it uh, overwhelming evidence? Well, they're making sure because that one point is huge. <laughs> the way these two teams have gotten after it in the second half. If you're joining us late, Indiana led by 17. Hot start. The big center, Weir, had a great first half. It is a two. So it ties his career high. All right. So yeah, Peyton's got a 26-point night going, but he ain't done. Toe on the line. Iowa 68, Indiana 66 with a minute 40 remaining in the game. A couple of defensive stops, rebounds, and finish them off. Get to the free throw line. In it comes Galloway from Leo. Galloway back to Anthony Leo. Watch him. He's got a handful of threes tonight. Cups in the game at the point. Galloway turns the corner. Dembele shuts him off. Cups for a standstill three is good. The freshman from Dayton, Ohio. Only basket he's had tonight. Or did he get one inside? No. no he's one free throw and now, or now a steal. Oh, bad pass by Iowa. And I got fans in front of me. I didn't see who passed it, Tony. Tony came Tony out to and, and Galloway stepped in the lane and picked it off. And now an immediate foul by Iowa with 1-11 to play in the game. How about <laughs> Gabe Cups? Thirty-eight percent shooter from three. Cups a five, a six-foot-two freshman, 
Free throw is no good by Galloway. Indiana's lead is 169-68. Dembele out of the game. Owen Freeman back in. Galloway needs this one to put Indiana up two with 111 to go. Crowd quiets over 17,000. Second free throws in and out and back in. 70-68 Indiana. We wind down to 105 remaining in the game. Perkins works the dribble into the near corner. Gives it to Freeman. Sanford for three more. No good. That ball might have been might have been touched. Ware flew at him. And Peyton's claiming it was deflected, but the official differs. And gives the ball to Indiana. 58 seconds to go. Plenty of time. Iowa down 70-68. Short of a turnover. The Hawks need a stop. Galloway trapped along the sideline. Jump passes to Cups. What a big three by Cups to Leo. Here's Galloway. 48 seconds to go. They get it into the front court and now will pull it out. 15 to shoot. Hawks need a stop right here. Down 70-68. Galloway turns the corner. Gets around Dix. Throws opposite corner. A three by Mbako. No good. Dix with a rebound. And threw it away. And a dunk by Ware. Josh Dix had the rebound, but was stumbling out of bounds. Threw it back inbounds to avoid the turnover. And Ware picked it off and dunked it through. Indiana up four with 26.1 to go in the game. Now, too bad. Iowa's t- t- taking such good care of the ball tonight. Oh, they have. Three turnovers. Yeah, just three turnovers. That one there, it looked like Josh got the rebound and it was hit. A little uh, physicality there, hit. Kind of stumbled. and threw it right to where he turned and dunked. That's too bad. Mbako missed the shot. Josh had the weak side rebound. And couldn't maintain his balance, whether he was knocked off balance or falling out of bounds. Threw it back into Ware, and Ware smashed it through. He's had a lot of those tonight. Ware with 23 points to lead Indiana. Sanford with 26 for the Hawkeyes. Perkins with 22. But now at 26.1 to go, got to go quick. Iowa down two possessions, so they've got to get a quick score. And Indiana uh, help, guys. will pressure full court. And it comes to Dix. Now to Perkins. Perkins across the timeline. Tony heads to the basket on Galloway. Throws to the wing. Dix is open for three. That's short. And Indiana with a rebound. 13.8 to go. And an immediate foul. And going to be difficult for the Hawkeyes now with 12.1 to go. And down two scores, 72-68. Anthony Leo, who has been huge. Star of the game. Yeah, he sure is. Off the bench for Indiana. Three three-point goals, four of six from the field. And a free throw now good. Leo came into tonight averaging two points and one rebound. So a breakthrough night for him. One more free throw coming for Leo. Makes the first and the second. 67% free throw. The Hawks still down two possessions, but they need a pair of threes. Nine seconds to go. Perkins into the front court. Lobs up a three. No good. Rebounded Indiana, and that'll be it. Final score, Hoosiers. 74, Iowa... 68. Hawks dropped to four and six in the Big Ten, and 12 and nine overall. And for Indiana, a home victory after uh, three tough losses against highly ranked teams in Purdue, Wisconsin, and Illinois. 74-68. Indiana holds off the Hawkeyes after the Hawks battled back from 17 down in the first half. The Hoosiers with some late heroics. And a solid night from the seven-footer in his return to the lineup. Center Khalil Ware with 23 to lead his team to a 74-68 win. We're back with the U.S. Cellular postgame show. Coming up next, stay with us. We'll hear from Coach McCaffrey. We'll relive some of the moments of this exciting game. 
that unfortunately ends up in a Hawkeye loss, 74-68. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. You've been listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes, presented by Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Also brought to you by Linux and your local Linux home comfort specialist. Made right here in Iowa since 1895. Shelter Insurance. Find an agent for your auto, home, and life at shelterinsurance.com. Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit ialottery.com for details. Bud Light. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. And buy. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge, just minutes south of Iowa City. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. At MidAmerican Energy, our 1.6 million customers depend on our energy 24-7. That's why we work 24-7 to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. To keep our 99.9% reliability record, we're enhancing our technology, improving resiliency, and investing in critical infrastructure. We're generating power from all available resources to cover any increases in demand. And we're innovating to ensure you always have the energy you need. MidAmerican Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at Hy-Vee. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the Hy-Vee Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the Hy-Vee Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for Hy-Vee Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Around here, Jack Frost nips more than just your nose. That's why the Midwest gets Honda. Dependable, all-wheel drive, with heated steering wheel and seats to keep Jack Frost off your seat, which will make it very happy. And since it's no fun to gas up in this weather, isn't it cool that Honda has such legendary fuel efficiency? New Hondas are arriving, but so is Mr. Frost. So see your central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments. They're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment. Committed to making healthcare better, more affordable, with more choices for care. And service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment. Knowing that blue is here for you. Go to wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, from Learfield, Hawkeye Basketball has been brought to you by Authentic Brand. It's more than just a label, it's a statement. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. By your local Ford dealers. U.S. Bank, proud to support Iowa basketball. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. And by... Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. This is the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes. Built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Hawkeyes, a uh, great rally in the second half comes up short as Indiana scores the final eight points of the game. And when it's 74-68, Iowa had taken the lead with just beyond a minute to play on a beautifully executed inbounds play. Patrick McCaffrey lobbed a perfect pass over the top of everybody on the floor. Peyton Sanford came off a double high post screen with a catch and shoot in the far corner and drained it. We thought it was a three at first. It was a two. And Iowa had the lead 68-66. But then the Hawks uh, didn't have an answer for big Khalil Ware. The seven-footer in the middle on the uh, stretch drive as Indiana got to the free throw line. Uh, Ware got a dunk off of Josh Dix turnover, and Indiana scored the last eight points to win it 74-68. But it doesn't uh, take away from the effort by Dix and his teammates, Bobby, that's for sure. Oh, incredible effort, no doubt about it, Gary. The Hawks got down 17 with a minute and a half left to go in the first half, and then it was a Peyton three, Tony Perkins three-point play, and they were uh, within 11 there at the halftime break, which was big. Then they came out and uh, 
put a little run on uh, Indiana there. It actually took the lead. So a great fight uh, by the Hawkeyes. And it was back and forth at, at the end there. And uh, Cups makes a big play off the bench. Lille makes uh, three three-pointers off the bench there. And uh, the big fella inside was just too much for the Hawks. Gave it everything they had. But Indiana finishes on an 8-0 run. And win at 74-68. The Hawkeyes uh, trailed by 11 at halftime. Got down 17 late in the first half, but a 6-0 run to end the period uh, brought Iowa back to within 11 at the break. The Hawkeyes uh, had a couple major runs in that second half to get the lead midway through the period. In the end, we had seven ties, six lead changes. The Hawks' last lead was at 68-66, and needing a couple stops, uh, put Indiana at the foul line. They made a couple free throws, the big dunk by where sealed it put him up two possessions uh, with under 30 seconds to go and the final score indiana 74 iowa 68 let's check out the uh, free throw line that was important again tonight the uh, latham seeds latham high-tech seeds charity stripe recap sponsored by latham high-tech seeds the hawks hit 84 percent of their throws tonight 16 of 19 Excellent free throw shooting. They continue to be solid at the foul line. Indiana 14 of 22 at 64%. The Hawkeyes uh, win the battle at the charity stripe, but lose the game 74-68. That's the charity stripe recap courtesy of Latham High Tech Seeds. Just like the Hawks' diverse talents, no seed company has more trait and genetic diversity than Latham High Tech Seeds. Thank you, Latham, for supporting Hawkeye basketball and the American Cancer Society through the Hawkeye Charity Stripe promotion all season long. Our points in the paint are courtesy of Spahn and Rose. Iowa even that up in the second half as well. Tony Perkins came on strong, drove the ball in deep, as did Josh Dix. And in the end, the Spahn and Rose final uh, total on points in the paint, Indiana 32 and Iowa 24. Why wait to repaint your home to freshen it up to sell? Take a quick trip to your local Spahn and Rose, pick some new colors from the Valspar paint rack, and start painting so you can enjoy it now. For interior makeovers, only Valspar Medallion Paint and Primer has color affinity for one coat color that lasts and lasts. For exteriors, it provides fade-resistant color, coverage, and true weather-tight toughness. Start here and finish with perfection at your local Spahn and Rose. Indiana with 32 paint scores. The Hawks had 24 scores in the lane. Final, Indiana 74, the Hawks 68. We're back with more postgame courtesy of U.S. Cellular in just a minute. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon. When you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments, your bacon called, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loans subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. 
Back at the Assembly Hall in Bloomington where the Hawks have lost a tough one, 74-68 to Indiana after battling back from 17 down in the first half. And the comeback had a lot to do with Peyton Sanford, who is our best in the game, courtesy of Old Dominion Freightline. Old Dominion Freightline works hard to be the best in their game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Peyton had 14 points in the first half, kept Iowa in it, 26 for the game, matched a career high with uh, five three-point goals and logged 37 minutes, plus led Iowa in rebounding with eight. He is our best in the game, courtesy of Old Dominion, which is a small consolation, I know, losing a tough game like this. I mean, it was uh, back and forth that second half, Peyton, and you had the lead by two with a little over a minute to go. Yeah, um, you know, we fought like fought like crazy to get back in it. Um, proud of Tony. I'm um, proud of all the guys that came in. Um, everybody was fighting. Um, they made a lot of big shots, and... You know, all year they've they've struggled from the three-point line, but, you know, they hit some big ones. Credit to uh, the freshman for hitting the biggest one of the game. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a demoralizing loss, the, the way we fought, but we just got to bounce back. Yeah, you do. Uh, you know, Anthony Leo was big off the bench for them, too. It was between him and uh, Cups hitting that three. Uh, you know, you just figured it had to be Indiana's night uh, with, with those two drowning uh, shots like they did. But uh, that doesn't take anything away from uh, Iowa's effort. And then the other uh, uh, hurdle you had to overcome, literally, was uh, the seven-footer, uh, uh, Khalil Ware. I mean, he's uh, he doesn't get off the floor a whole lot, but, man, he's got long arms, and when he grabs it, it's usually a dunk putback. Yeah, he's unbelievably long. Um, you know, he made some big plays down the stretch, and, he altered a lot of, you know, shots at the rim, had some big blocks, and kind of took us out of our offense of trying to get downhill and um, that cut him to death. So, you know, we had to rely on a lot more jumpers than um, we're used to. But we hit some big ones. Tony did a good job getting downhill. Um, but ultimately, yeah, I mean, he made the big play at the end. Well, big sequence was that 11-0 run they put on you uh, in the uh, uh, middle part of the uh, sec- or the first half. <laughs> went from four up to uh, 15 up. So you had a, a big hill to climb uh, down 11 at halftime. Yeah, I mean, I think we were down 17 um, close to the end of the half, maybe yes. with a minute left and no, started right. clawing our way back. And, um, you know, it, it helped to really helped to get Tony going. Um, you know, he's being hard on himself right now, but he played a really good game, um, defended well, and, and did a really good job getting downhill and making plays for others. So, you know, we can't fault his effort. Well, Peyton, we saw a lot of uh, what we saw uh, tonight. We saw a lot of at Michigan uh, the other day. So there's a lot of positives to take out of this game. Now you get back home at Carver with Ohio State on Friday night. Yeah, um, you know, every, every game in the Big Ten's a war. I mean, that was an absolute war. And um, Ohio State, um, they have a lot of really good players. You know, they're struggling a little bit right now, but we got to be ready to go. And, um, you know, we got to start stringing together some wins if we want to make a run at March. Yeah, for sure. Uh, this was your fifth 20-point game this season and the 12th of your career. You're really seeing the basket, uh, the, the quick release, the, the catch and shoot. Uh, uh, you hardly catch the ball, and it's gone. Uh, you, you really are on its own. Yeah, um, you know, they were they were guarding pretty tough. Um, you know, nothing was easy. Um, then I kind of just found a groove, and, um, you know, with, with wear in there, you kind of have to rely on more jumpers against them or multiple drives to, to get them out of there, but... Um, you know, they made them tough, and, um, yeah. Well, hey, hopefully you get them in the tournament. This is the only regular season meeting, but great effort tonight, but appreciate your time as yeah, always. Thanks, Dolph. Peyton Sanford, uh, obviously uh, upset, disappointed, and he said Tony is hard on himself in the Hawkeye locker room. Well, Tony has no reason to be hard on himself. He, he and uh, Sanford both logged uh, 36 and a half minutes uh, tonight. Uh, Perkins with the... Uh, 22 got going in the second half. 26 for Sanford. Payton is our Old Dominion best in the game with 26 points, five three-point goals, made all seven of his free throws, eight rebounds led Iowa, had an assist and a steal. And uh, in the end, it was just too much uh, of uh, Indiana size. And, of course, uh, the unknowns, Anthony Leo and uh, Gabe Cups, the freshman, came off the bench and hit the three that put in Indiana ahead. Uh, they were able to... Uh, get it uh, uh, to the free throw line after that. And then, of course, the unfortunate turnover at the end. Uh, Josh Dick stumbling to the floor, had to get rid of the ball for falling out of bounds. And it ended up with the big seven-footer where who smashed a dunk down through. And that was the final, 74-68 Indiana. More on our U.S. Cellular postgame show is coming up. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. 
Hawk fans, stop in and visit the newly renovated guest rooms at Hyatt Regency Coralville Hotel and Conference Center located in the heart of Iowa River Landing. Stay within walking distance of Extreme Arena, home of the Iowa Hawkeye volleyball team, as well as great restaurants, shopping, and scenic walking trails along the Iowa River. Hyatt Regency Coralville is also the home of Hawk Talk with Lisa Bluter and Fran McCaffrey this fall. Come together at Hyatt Regency Coralville, where everything you need is right here. The big game, family, friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Iowa basketball. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. Indiana ends the game on an 8-0 run and uh, prevails over the Hawkeyes 74-68 here this evening at Assembly Hall in Bloomington. Welcome back to our U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. I'm Gary Dolphin. Bobby Hansen is in the Iowa locker room talking with Fran McCaffrey. We'll hear those uh, comments shortly. Our post game show is brought to you by U.S. Cellular as a proud sponsor of the Hawkeyes. U.S. Cellular wants you to make the most of today by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Cellular built for us. Now our stat recap, courtesy of High V. High V score big game, uh, score big savings at uh, High V with the all new, totally free High V Perks membership. High V. Hawkeyes got out rebounded 45-32, which resulted in 11 more second chance points for the Hoosiers. That was a big stat tonight. Plus, the Hawks shot a season-low 35%. You heard Peyton Sanford talk about how hard and how well they were guarding Iowa. and That made Peyton's, uh, Peyton's uh, shooting performance uh, even uh, more impressive. Uh, the Indiana bench also outscored the Hawkeyes 20-4. to Iowa trailed by 11 at halftime and lose it 74-68 after the Hawks came from 17 back uh, to get the lead but couldn't sustain it and lose it. 74 68. Uh, individually for Iowa, the leading scorer, Peyton Sanford, with 26 points. Tony Perkins had 22. Tony, a big second half. 10 for Josh Dix. Those were the Hawkeye double figure scorers, and nobody else with more than four. Owen Freeman had uh, four points, a couple rebounds. He was really disrupted inside by the seven footer wear and got in foul trouble again this evening. And uh, more learning moments for uh, Hawkeye Center. Owen Freeman. The Hawkeyes did a lot of things well, though. They end up shooting 23 of 65. They had a, a ice cold sh- uh, shooting uh, in the first half. They shot 28 percent. They did improve on that in the second half, with 35 and a half percent, or excuse me, 42 and a half percent in the second half, but just 35 percent for the game. 27 percent from three. Did make 16 of 19 free throws. Uh, Indiana out rebounds the Hawks 45. 32. For Indiana leading scorer Khalil Ware, the seven foot center, with 23 points, seven rebounds. Anthony Leo off the bench scored 13. He had three threes. Here's a kid who hit four shots out of six attempts. He came into tonight averaging two points. So uh, he got a game ball. <laughs> Coach uh, uh, gave him a game ball after the game in the Indiana locker room as, uh, as well he should. Mike Woodson. 
uh, knows uh, star players when he sees them. And that was Anthony Leo tonight. He was a difference maker with that 13-point effort. Uh, Mackenzie Mbako had 11. Malik Renault scored two before re-injuring an ankle. Xavier Johnson had nine. He went out late with an ankle injury. Trey Galloway uh, with nine points for the Hoosiers uh, and five assists. He led Indiana in that category. By the way, Perkins, three assists led the Hawkeyes. Three points for Gabe Cups, and I mention that because it was a biggie. It turned out to be the game-winning shot, a three with under a minute to go. Uh, that put Andy, Indiana ahead. They were able to get some free throws and then the concluding dunk by Ware down the stretch in that 8-0 run. Iowa turned Indiana over 11 times. The Hawks had seven more points off turnovers. The Hawkeyes took excellent care of the basketball in that defensive heat uh, with just three miscues on the night. Hawks had nine steals. Indiana, though, had eight block shots, three by Khalil Ware. He really changes what you do when you drive it inside, and that's why the Hawks were forced to take more shots from the perimeter tonight. There were uh, seven ties, six lead changes. Iowa trailed by 11 at the half and lose the game 74 to 68. The Hawks are now 4-6 and six in the Big Ten, 12-9 and nine. Uh, on the season, uh, Indiana improved to 13 and 8 and 5 and 5, level 500 for the season. This is a big game. This is the only game they play head to head in the regular season. They might meet in the Big Ten tournament, but Indiana now owns the tiebreaker, and they were both tied in the conference standings in the middle of the pack coming into tonight. But of course, as we know, there's uh, still nine games remaining, uh, 10 games remaining. Uh, in league play. Much to be decided here as the month of February is about to arrive. That's our High V stat recap. Score big savings with the all new, totally free High V Perks membership. More post game in a minute. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon. When you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments, your bacon called, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loans subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. Everyone knows the BBB is the Better Business Bureau, but depending on what you need, it's the Better Plumber Bureau, the Better Auto Mechanic Bureau, the Better Accountant Bureau. That's because the BBB connects people with businesses they can trust. So think of the BBB as the better check that business out first so you don't get ripped off bureau. Be smart. Always look for the BBB seal because it's looking out for you. Find a better business anytime at BBB.org. Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in Eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa Athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. American Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. Back at Assembly Hall in Bloomington, Indiana, the Hawkeyes lose a heartbreaker to Indiana 74 68, got down 17, battled back, got the lead at 68-66. But uh, Indiana closed with a a big three-point goal by the freshman Cups, a dunk by Ware, and uh, three free throws to win it 74-68 to over Iowa. Let's relive some of the moments of tonight's uh, Indiana win over the Hawkeyes. Uh, Peyton uh, Sanford served uh, notice right out of the gate that he was going to be white hot again tonight. Here's Perkins to Freeman for Peyton Sanford. Turns, shoots a three, and splashdown. Wow. Peyton Sanford picks right up where he left off on Saturday. 3-2 Iowa. And the Hawkeyes' uh, only lead of the first half was there. Uh, Dix uh, uh, 
lay up, uh, put Iowa up 5-3 a moment later. Uh, The Hawkeyes got down, though, 11-5. Tony Perkins uh, mounted a charge for a comeback. Here's Dix into the front court. Leaves it for Freeman. Freeman's yet to take a shot. Perkins will take his first and tucks it down. Tony Perkins, he's getting the rolls and he's getting the switches. (laughs) Tony struggled in that first half. Let's see what uh, Tony had in the... uh, First half for the Hawkeyes, they were really guarding him. Obviously, look at the uh, season he's having. Tony with just five first-half points and one basket, that one there. Iowa was back to within 11-7. Indiana led 15-7 to a moment later uh, off the end of a 6-0 run before Josh Dix found the marker. Perkins with the clear out for the Hawkeyes. Into the front court. Dix is wide open, a three from the corner. Good. Indiana lost him there. Dix three uh, brought the Hawks back to within five. Josh hurt himself uh, making a move late in the first half. I, don't, I didn't think he was really himself the rest of the game. Hopefully it's not a groin injury or uh, it didn't look like he turned an ankle or pulled a muscle of some kind, but we'll uh, figure that out here in the days ahead before the Hawks host Ohio State on Friday night. Uh, Indiana scored to make it 17-10, and then uh, Owen Freeman uh, responded with a, a pretty move. Unfortunately, his only hoop of the night. Peyton Sadford drives into the lane. Now a bounce pass for Freeman. He finally gets to touch the ball. Goes around the seven-footer and scores. Reverse layup. Beautiful. Owen actually had two field goals on the night. That one brought the Hawkeyes back to within five at 17-12 to 12, midway through uh, the uh, first half. It was uh, 19-15 Indiana when the Hoosiers went off on an 11-0 run to take a 30-15 advantage. Uh, timeout called by the Hawkeyes. Uh, Iowa... Uh, had a, a flurry uh, to get back in it. They had a 6-0 run to end the half, a Peyton three-point goal off the assist from Ben Cricky. And then Tony Perkins, after an Iowa stop, got a, a layup and an and one, it converted the free throw, and the Hawks went to the locker room down 39-28 uh, at the intermission. Uh, granted, you, you don't want to be double digit down double digits in a venue like this. It's uh, a tough comeback, but this Iowa team showed their true metal here, uh, true, true toughness this evening. So early on in the second half, Indiana had a 44-33 lead, and uh, Peyton Sanford found the range again. Ware gets the rebound. Hawks limit the damage. Sanford for three at the other end. Good. Hmm. Oh, that, that gun comes out of the holster in a hurry, doesn't it? Wow. Whoa. And what's good for the goose is good for the gander. A moment later, after a, an Iowa stop, uh, the Hawks were hunting for Peyton Sanford again. To Perkins. Tony drives it all the way in deep. Now back to the wing and Patrick McCaffrey. Peyton for three more. <laughs> Splash down. Wow. Blast off. Peyton Sanford, he can feel it. 22 points, five three point goals, and seven free throws for Peyton Sanford. So, not four and a half minutes into the second half, the Hawks have chopped that 17 point. Uh, at uh, uh, deficit down to six, 44-38. But it was the Iowa defense. It was turning Indiana over. Tony Perkins uh, got a layup uh, and a, a free throw to boot, and the Iowa run was nine to nothing. The Hawks were back to within three at 44-41. Indiana though went back up with a 5-0 flurry, and then Perkins responded. Perkins gets inside, scores off the glass. He just bowled his way, bulldozered his way through the lane. <laughs> And it was 49-43 Indiana with 12 and a half to go. Uh, The Hawks uh, went off on a 6-0 run. Perkins hit another jump shot to bring Iowa to within uh, uh, 49-47. This occurred after a a Peyton Sanford layup with the assist to to Brock. The Hawks uh, weren't through at a 6-0 run. Perkins, a moment later, uh, tied the game up. Dembele clears. Here's Perkins all the way to the basket. A score and a foul. What a play. What a move by Tony Perkins. And now he's giving it to the IU student body. The game tied at 49 all. Uh, Tony missed his first free throw, though. He had the and one, the first miss by him in a long, long time. But the game was tied at 49. It was tied at 51. And then with 8.43 to play in the game, Josh Dix put the Hawks ahead. Hawks get a score on a run out, a layup by Dix, and a free throw coming. Tie game at 53. Here comes that Iowa run game. 
Beautiful half-court pass by Peyton Sanford. Found Dix in stride. He laid it up and in, made the free throw, and the Hawks led it 54-53 with eight minutes to play, and back and forth we went from there till that wild ending where Indiana scored the last eight points of the game and win it 74-68. to We'll hear from Fran McCaffrey next year on our Hawkeye postgame show, courtesy of U.S. Cellular. Fran's brought to you by your Iowa John Deere dealers. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Around here, Jack Frost nips more than just your nose. That's why the Midwest gets Honda. Dependable, all-wheel drive, with heated steering wheel and seats to keep Jack Frost off your seat. Which will make it very happy. And since it's no fun to gas up in this weather, isn't it cool that Honda has such legendary fuel efficiency? New Hondas are arriving, but so is Mr. Frost. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, 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 coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel, good squirrel. (laughs) While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. The hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel. The Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor. And Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community. The hotel at Kirkwood Center, a AAA four-diamond luxury property located just a few minutes from the Eastern Iowa Airport in downtown Cedar Rapids. Whether you're visiting for business or pleasure, the hotel is happy to welcome you. To make reservations, visit the hotel at Kirkwood.com. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Seventy-four, sixty-eight. Indiana holds off the Hawkeyes here tonight at Assembly Hall in Bloomington, Iowa. Returns home to host Ohio State Friday night. Come on out. These guys are deserving of your attention and your applause. They're playing as hard as we've seen them play all year long. It's a 6 o'clock tip-off with the Buckeyes, and we'll be on there at 5 o'clock with our pregame coverage. Fran McCaffrey just met the media a moment ago. Fran is brought to you by your great Iowa John Deere dealers, including Van Wall Equipment in Woodbine. We didn't match the intensity level that they came with at the start of the game, so you got to credit them for that. Uh, they jumped us. Well, they were shooting the ball well, but, but the energy level in the building and the energy level that they were playing with was better than ours. Uh, we settled down. You know, we climbed back. I think we got out 17, climbed back in, got it to a manageable number. And then uh, you know, I thought our defensive intensity, our execution was way better in the second half. Got back in the game, took the lead, and you know, credit them for pulling it out. When Renew uh, came out in the first half, how did that kind of change what you guys wanted to do defensively? It didn't change like anything. I mean, they, they just put the other guy in there. I mean, he's not bad either. You're right. I mean, having both of them is difficult uh, because, you know, Renew is so good scoring the ball, but he's also, you know, a physical rebounder. But, uh, you know, they went small, so that, to answer your question, that changed things. Did enable us to go small at times, because you really can't go small when those two guys are in there together. Coach, Tony had 17 of his 22 points in the second half. He, he got some switches on to Anthony Leal. Is that something you drew up every time? Uh, we just turned him loose. We, were, we weren't really ISOing anybody. We were running some actions to get him downhill, uh, give him opportunities, give him space. Uh, you know, Johnson had four fouls, and so we're, you know, going at him, too, to try to, you know, get him in trouble. So, uh, you know, we, he's our guy, you know, so we, we went to him. Where's obviously a load, but, um, you know, Ben and Owen just didn't have great games, I guess. What, how do you, no, you know, the fact, that it, it, it's not so much that they didn't have great games, they didn't rebound. 
you know, like those two guys have to rebound. If you give this team second and third shot opportunities, I mean, they're going to be they're going to be really tough to beat. Uh, and those guys are in there working, but they only had five rebounds in a game combined. And we got to rebound it by 13. It makes it really hard. Is that, I mean, how, is that effort or how do you kind of? Well, it's a little bit uh, who it is, you know, but, you know, and sometimes with the, you know, if they're shooting jumpers, it really doesn't fall upon the bigs. The ball's bouncing long and who's the first to the ball? Is it one of the wing guys? One of the guards? Guards have to rebound. Probably the biggest rebound of the game, Josh Dix gets it and then he throws it right to him for the dunk. I mean, if we get that ball, we're only down one. Or was it three? I can't remember. One or three. But we had an opportunity there to go down and tie the game. And they dunk it. I think we were only down one to put us down three. You mentioned Indiana going a little bit smaller. They haven't done that a ton this year, a little bit. But was that something you expected? Did you feel prepared? Well, I think it was only a function of Renew being out. But they do have the, the luxury. I mean, they got a couple six eight guys that are really slashers, but they're long and bouncy. Uh, and then, you know, you've got other pieces you can you can swing I mean, they've got some size on, 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 on the wing at the wing position but uh, you know they, they have depth and you know obviously you want to go with your guys you want to keep renew out there if you can be out there but they've got other guys it's back-to-back games that pain has really gotten going this way what do you feel like working? well he's playing with a lot of confidence you know we're doing a good job getting him the ball uh, he wants us to do that, like he's very confident in himself, and he may come back and make some shots after he missed some shots. So, uh, you know, I love that about him. Fran, what was it say about your team? You guys were down in the first half and down in the second half, but yet you you, you recovered, and got the lead, and then it was nip and tuck all the way down. Yeah, you know, I I I, I was really proud of that. You know, their their effort, uh, their execution for the most part. Uh, they just kept coming and you know when you're on the road and you're behind it can get away from you you know especially in this building you know and, and we didn't let it get away from us and that's what the good teams do you know unfortunately we did finish it with a few more plays but we'll learn from that Fran McCaffrey uh, some of his post game uh, thoughts on Iowa's loss to Indiana 74 to 68. He re- referenced the, the rebounding numbers, uh, 45-32 Indiana out rebounded the Hawks, and 13 offensive rebounds uh, led to 11 uh, more second-chance points. That's the old difference in the game. You can point to a number of areas, but uh, he's right. The rebounding uh, hurt the Hawks tonight, and uh, they were outsized uh, significantly inside uh, uh, by uh, those two 6-8 uh, tall timbers, and then, of course, the 7-1 on uh, Khalil Ware. Uh, he is a difference maker, no question. It, uh, Indiana fans are happy to have him back in the lineup. Fran's uh, post-game review each and every game night is brought to you by your Iowa John Deere dealers. Like Van Wald Equipment, nothing runs like a deer, especially when supported by the team at Van Wald Equipment. Stop by one of their locations and learn how to farm better, work smarter, and play harder when you run with Van Wall and John Deere. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. The big game. Family. Friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash fanofcorn. 
True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online, quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. It takes hard work to be the best in the game. Planning, commitment, resilience, sweat. That's why Old Dominion Freight Line, the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion Freight Line, official freight carrier of Iowa Athletics, helping the world keep promises. Winding down our U.S. Cellular postgame show, Indiana beats Iowa 74-68 after the game. Winning coach Mike Woodson was all aglow, as he should be, about uh, reserve Anthony Leal. Mike, this was a big one tonight, and without question, uh, a really important win for your basketball team. It was a total team effort, man. I mean, you lose big fella, you know, one of my bigs early on in the game, and the next goes down in crunch time when you really need them. And guys just came in and stepped up. I thought Gabe's shot was the biggest shot of the night, you know, the three that he made. But Anthony Lill got the game ball, man, because he came <laughs> in there, came in and he kept us steady, kept us in the game, made shots, good defense on the defensive end, rebounded the ball for us. I mean, he was just solid. Seven rebounds in the ball game with his 13 points, Coach. He was four of six from the field, three for four at the three-point line, and it just seemed like he just gave the team a spark. He did. I mean, he. I thought he played well at Illinois when, uh, when we played the other day up there, so it was a nice carry over into tonight's game. But I'm, I'm just proud of our team, man, because we fought. You know, we were shorthanded with key guys, and guys stepped up and made plays, and helped us secure a big win. Coach, you got 45 rebounds to the 32 for the Hawkeyes tonight. I know you talked in the pregame show that was going to be a key. Yeah, it was going to be a big key. You know, we didn't give them very much in transition, uh, and we didn't turn it over, you know what I mean? And and we rebounded the basketball, and that was the key, man. We just we got to concentrate on our on our free throws, man. For some reason, that's just kind of been a, been a tough <laughs> Sitting through games watching that has been tough, boy, but we got to just keep working. That's the name of the game. Nice comeback effort for Khalil Ware after two games missed because of an injury. Yeah, we needed him. I mean, I thought he plugged the hole for us some, made some blocks in there, had, I think three blocks, and scored for us, rebounded for us, things that, you know, he's been doing for us all season, boy. It's just good to have him back. Coach, uh, without doubt, uh, you had a couple of injuries in the ball game. I don't know if you can tell us uh, what the situation is there, but both looked like they were fairly serious. Well, you know, again, I, I'm not going to speculate until I get back here and and uh, survey what's going on. All right, Coach, thanks for joining us. Okay, Don, thanks. Don Fisher, the voice of the Indiana Hoosiers on the uh, IU radio network. Uh, thanks to Learfield and in Indiana for allowing us to uh, use some of Coach Woodson's comments. Anthony Leal gets the game ball, and the big fella, seven foot Khalil Ware, 23 points, 10 rebounds, a double double uh, for uh, Khalil Ware, uh, leads the way for Indiana as they defeat the Hawkeyes 74 68. Elsewhere on the U.S. Bank scoreboard, uh, other Big Ten games uh, final are still going on. Illinois, 10th ranked Illinois, won at Ohio State 87 75. And uh, with a minute to go in the first half, Michigan has a 35 30 lead on Michigan State. Uh, in East Lansing. Uh, so we'll keep uh, an eye on that one as the evening progresses. Elsewhere around the country, number 23, Oklahoma, leads at Kansas State, 51-43, eight minutes to play there. Uh, Kansas on top of Oklahoma uh, State, uh, 39-23. The uh, Jayhawks lead the Cowboys, eighth-ranked Kansas by 16, with two minutes to go first half. Other scores involving ranked team South Carolina, uh, upset fifth ranked Tennessee, hmm, 63 59. Georgia Tech knocked off number three North Carolina, 74 uh, 73. Ninth ranked Marquette escaped Villanova, 85 uh, 80. And uh, TCU, ranked 25th, defeats 15th ranked Texas Tech, 85 78. Those are some of the other finals. The Hawkeye women play at Northwestern 
tomorrow night here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. That's the U.S. Bank scoreboard. That wraps up our coverage of Iowa, Indiana tonight here from Bloomington, 74 to 68, the final uh, Indiana with the victory over the Hawkeyes. Join us at 5 o'clock for the pregame show Friday as the Hawkeyes welcome Ohio State to Carver Hawkeye Arena. For Bobby Hansen, for our engineer producer Corey Sheets, I'm Gary Dolphin. Thanks so much for tuning in tonight. Again, the final Iowa loses here in Indiana after seven ties and six lead changes. The Hawkeyes uh, go down 74 to 68. Good night from Indiana. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. You've been listening to the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes. Built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Hawkeye basketball has been brought to you by Authentic Brand, unique Hawkeye apparel at Authentic-Brand.com. Linux and your local Linux home comfort specialist. Made right here in Iowa since 1895. Mid-American Energy. Look up, look out for overhead power lines. Visit midamericanenergy.com for electrical safety tips. Also brought to you by hy V. Score big savings with the new hy V Perks membership. And by United Healthcare. Committed to helping people live healthier lives. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation on the Hawkeye Sports Network.